Hello students, welcome to Vedanto Needs English. I am Ms. Gopika, your biology master teacher. So let me know in the comments if I'm audible, visible. I've reduced the brightness so that, uh, you know, the questions are more visible. But otherwise, just let me know if everything is working fine and good. Okay. Are we live yet? That is a question. Yes, we are live. friends and ask them to join immediately because uh, the live it's better no more more josh will be there to do the classes right more josh so quickly share the link with all your friends and ask them to join so we'll be doing all the questions so i'll tell you suspense so slowly slowly one one surprise will be opening okay so how are you all yes we are live yes awesome awesome okay students um you know what you should do right you know what you should do First, you should mark your attendance, then you should link, share the link with your friends and then you should begin start. Okay, so, so today's class we are basically doing all the previous year questions. Okay, that is from your 2023, okay, 2023, I mean 2019 to 2023. Some of the topics, okay, some of the topics have been deleted, so a lot of questions are less, but otherwise we will try to do as many questions as possible so you will have a confidence in zoology and let me tell you all zoology is very easy okay zoology is very easy i don't know why students have this fear students from locomotion from your entire human physiology questions are so nice and most of it i've told in the class so you will see that okay you will see that okay did you all mark the attendance did you share the link definitely people did, wouldn't have shared the link okay chalo let's start so First thing I want all of you to tell me, are you ready for the challenge to become from a neat aspirant to an MBBS student? Why have I put this only for this session is because PYQs decide your marks. PYQs decide your scores. MCQs or practice makes any dropper, a topper or any person who has scored somewhere in 300, 250 has all improved their scores. Has all improved their scores only because of practice so are you ready if you are ready okay if you are ready please do what is told on the board if yes lit the chat box everyone should be like what is happening what is happening like you know everyone should be confused those who join live okay yes awesome i was born ready yes i will i will mentor you a little to be more ready okay so if you are ready to go from a neat aspirant to an mbbs students because PYQs plays a major role in your score. Okay, then you know. I think only Sweetie understood, only Rani understood what to do. Others did not. Yes, Bhavana, good job. Others did not understand. Come on, come on. I'll wait. Yes, these are my these are my toppers who are lifting up the chat box. Only those will become toppers, okay? Yes, awesome, awesome. This is the Josh. Yes. See, PYQs only is enough. Question should not be coming now. You have like 40 days, 39 days left. So, okay. You should be knowing that you should know the concept and then you should do the PYQs. Okay. Then you should be doing the PYQs. Chalo. Okay. So, students, uh, most of you have requested for chapter wise PYQ. Some of you have requested, ma'am, just put all the PYQs together. So, I have taken everything into consideration. First, you will be doing some of the specific chapter PYQs. Then, you will be doing the question paper pattern. That means mixed. All the questions will be mixed from each chapter. It will go from 2023, 22, 21, 20, 2019. Okay. Then again, you will get a specific round where you will be doing some set of chapters, which I feel my students are not good at. Chalo, works? Works. So first you will be doing some chapters which has like high weightage, like you will do molecular basis of inheritance, animal kingdom, evolution. After that you will go to a mixed round because you will not write neat chapter wise. So you will go to a mixed round. Then again you will come back to some topics which I feel you are weak at that you will do chapter wise. Okay. This is the pattern we are going to follow. This is my, my own pattern for you people. I feel this will work. So now let's start. First question. So students, if you cannot see me see the question, just let me know. I will zoom it for you people. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think it's visible, right? Yes. Okay. Chalo, let's start. Select the correct. Yes. 
सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विथ रेफरेंस टू कॉल डेट्स ओके विथ रेफरेंस टू कॉल डेट्स प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ मिड डॉर्सल सॉलिड डबल नर्व कॉर्ड प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ क्लोज सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम अ presence of paired pharyngeal gill slits presence of dorsal heart triploblastic pseudo coelomate animals now you have to tell which among this option is correct okay which among this is correct see choose the correct answer from the options given below is it 1 2 3 4 just type 1 2 3 4 do not sit and type a b c d just type 1 2 3 4 then i will show the answer come on quick the answer has to come quick all of you know what are chordates right yes go very good very good go on go on i want more answers speed should be fast or else i'll just go on okay good job good job most of you are getting the hang of it yes awesome i'll wait for your answers okay i'll wait for your answers but you have to be fast should not waste a lot of time Yes, let's see the answer. Perfect. B and C. So, what is the answer you told? Presence of closed circulatory system. Yes, correct to coordinates. Then C. Presence of a paired pharyngeal gill slit. Then wh why is these other things wrong? Because we know it is solid ventral double nerve cord. Here you know presence of ventral heart triploblastic. So never triploblastic pseudo coelomate. Pseudo coelomate is only there in Ascalminthus. Okay. Awesome. Good job, students. Next question. Arthropod is composed of exoskeleton of your arthropods is composed of students. You will not believe, okay? When I was checking this uh, question, I saw that majority of the students have answered cutin, cutin, okay? I don't know where from where they found the cutin, okay? They have answered cutin. So I want to see. Very good, awesome, awesome. What's the answer? Chitin. Chitin, chitinous exoskeleton is one of the specialized character of your kingdom, arthropod. Okay, arthropod. Chalo, next question. Match the following organism with their respective characteristics. Okay, we have respective characteristics. We have pila. Okay, pila, your snail. Okay, I'll write the common name so it's easier for you people. Snail. Okay, this is your silk moth. Then your pleurobranchia, Priyanka Chopra, pleurobranchia, Tino Plana. Here we have tapeworm. Right, tapeworm. Now you have to match the following. Match the following with what are the specialized character. Shall I do it faster? So let's see. This is snail. Okay. Here we have your arthropods. Here we have your tenophores. Here we have your flat worm. So now I know the answer. Now you have to tell me the answer. Okay. Most of you are telling two. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yes, two, three. Okay, mixed answers are coming. Huh? Mixed answers are coming. Students, did you all mark the attendance? I'm going to check the attendance now. Chalo, chalo, fast. All of you mark the attendance. No bunking in my class. No attendance. Still now we didn't reach 100. So poor. Yes, two. Let's see. Yes, awesome. So let's see why is it two. So this one, silk moth will be three right that means they have a rasping organ then your arthropod biggest specialized characteristic of your arthropod is malpigian tubules pleurobranchiae have comb plates right priyanka chopra priyanka chopra and then your uh, tapeworm has flame cells i told this question while teaching i told you these kind of questions will come okay yes next one the unique Good morning, good morning. I forgot to tell good morning students. You people didn't ask also. Good morning students. Okay. The unique mammalian characteristics are. I will not give you more than 10 seconds. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. They are not answering. My God. 3, 2. Answer fast. 10 seconds over. I know I am faster. But yeah. Tell me the answer. So easy. Okay. 3, 2. Two. Oh, 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 oh. Ha, one. Very good. Students, hair, tympanic membrane, and mammary glands. Wrong. Pinna, pinna. Right? Hair, pinna, and mammary glands is the unique mammalian characteristic of. Okay? Good job. Good job. Next one. This is, I know it's a little small, so I'll zoom it for you all.
Okay, look here. These are the characteristics given. Okay, what are the characteristics given? Contractile vacuole, water vascular system, canal system and flame cells. Now, these characteristics you have to align. You have to align with Asteraceae, Amoeba, Spongula and your taper. Okay, got it? So, these are the characteristics. Now, I'll zoom so you can see it. Contractile vacuole, water vascular system, canal system, flame cells. And these are the options. These are the options. Is it visible or is it not visible? It's visible, right? Yeah, it's visible. So, please keep the quality little high. Yes, go for the answer. Contractile vacuole. The contractile vacuole is only present in one person. Who is that? Amoeba? Amoeba, correct? So, A is coming here. Then, water vascular system. Who has water vascular system? Who has canal system? You should know. Ready? 4, they are telling. Very good. Awesome. 4 is the answer. Because why? See, look here. You have contractile vacuole, amoeba, water vascular system. You have your asteraceae. Again, canal system, spongula, teeny, uh, the stapeworm has flame cells. Okay? Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Next question. Platy helminthus. Select the correct statement. So, in your entire animal kingdom, you will get questions like this. Select the correct statement. Select the incorrect statement. Select the correct statement. Select the incorrect statement. That's all. Okay? So, look here. Platy helminthus are triploblastic, pseudocelomane and bilaterally symmetrical organism. Tenophores reproduce only sexually and fertilization is external. In tapeworm, the fertilization is internal but sexes are not separate. Tenophores are exclusively marine, diploblastic, bioluminescent organisms. In sponges, fertilization is external, development is direct. Now, you have to tell which among these are the correct statements. Okay, correct statements, right? Yes. Water canal system, yes, it is there. We'll provide, Abdul, we have provided your NCRT line by line. We'll provide this also. The thing is, we'll combine and provide because uh, most of us will not be able to complete one shot so many questions. So, that's why we are waiting to combine and give. Okay, do not worry. Yes. Awesome. Let's see the answer. Let's see the answer. Yes. Perfect. So, which are the ones which are correct? B. Tenophores reproduce only sexually and fertilization is external. Awesome. In, uh, in tapeworm, fertilization is internal but sexes are separate. Very good. D. Tenophores are exclusively marine, diploblastic and bioluminescence. Awesome students. Good job. Okay. Claps for all of you. You have done animal kingdom well. Now, Nitrogenous waste is excreted in the form of pellet or paste by who? Who is the one who keep targeting us when we go outside? Who is the one who keeps targeting us when we go outside? Who is it? Wait, I will zoom it for you all. Students, see, this is how they will trick you in uh, your animal kingdom. They will give you the scientific name. They will not give you parrot, uh, cockroach. Uh, they will not give like that. They will give the scientific name. Got it? Look here. So, you know which is the one. I had taught you this. Yes, awesome. Oh, three. Yes, awesome. One. One is the answer, right? Pavo, that is your parrot. Pavo, bird, bird. Okay, only the AVs is the one who secrete pillars. No, I taught you an excretion. Now, in which of the following animals, the digestive tract has additional chambers like crop and gizzard? Crop and Gizzard, which is the one that has crop and gizzard? This also was mentioned while teaching animal kingdom. Okay. No, no, we'll cover everything. We'll cover everything. No, nothing specific like 11th and 12th. I'll cover all the high weightage chapters. Do not worry. Yes. Bio is stronger. Bio is stronger. We have competition, students. We have competition. I have competition with uh, everyone. We have physics. Who, who will answer more? How fast students answer? So, we are always in competition. Yes, awesome. Because these are the apes, right? Parrot, peacock. Uh, parrot, peacock and your crow. 
all these scientific names I've given. Do not get yourself confused. Okay, do not get yourself confused. Next question. Air bladder is found in which among these? Is it there in ostrictus, contrictus, aves or cyclostomata? Which among these have air bladders? When I taught you the difference, I to told you that one do not have air bladder, the other one air has air bladder because of that, that fishes have to continuously keep swimming. Otherwise, they will sink. Otherwise, they will sink. Okay. So, I'll answer this. Yes, air bladder is there in, okay, some are telling in aves. Students, aves you live, aves is different. That is supplementary, other than the lungs, they will give supplementary air capacity that is different. This is different. Presence and absence, ah, awesome. What is this? Correct. Okay, your bony fishes have air bladders, but your uh, cartilaginous fishes do not have air bladders because of which cartilaginous fishes have to keep swimming or they will sink. Okay, question, understand the question. They are trying to compare this both. They are not trying to ask you about aves. So, please think like this and answer. Okay, yes. Now, given below are two statements. Okay, what are the statements? Amphibians and reptiles have three chambered heart with two atria and a single ventricle and are oviparous in nature. Okay, second question is, I mean second statement, crocodile possesses four chambered heart. Okay, we agree to that with two ventricles, two atria and are viviparous in nature. The question is, select the most appropriate option. Okay, select the most appropriate option option among these which is the most appropriate one come on all of you yes yes all of you mark your attendance those who join late and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe okay yes which is the answer both are correct both are correct oh ho, twinkle twinkle little star i will tell you what is wrong Okay, fine. Look here. <laughs> Twinkle is still. Students, one is correct, two is wrong. Now, you'll be like, what ma'am, what are you saying? See, crocodile possesses four chambered heart. Yes, the correct. Two atria, two ventricles. Approved. But crocodiles are oviparous in nature. Crocodiles are oviparous in nature. And trust me, not only Twinkle, there are around 43% students who attempted NEET okay, has done this wrong because they didn't know that crocodile was oviparous in nature. They thought it is viviparous and they made the statement this way, okay. Okay, got it? Chalo. Now, select the incorrect statement with respect to cyclostomes. Cyclostomes are endoparasite or ectoparasite. They are ectoparasite. They stay on top of other fishes, right? So, now look at that. They have they lack scales and paired fins. They have circular mouth with jaws. They bear 6 to 15 pairs of gills. They migrate to deep sea for spawning. Now, all my students who have attended my class knows this answer. Now, choose the most appropriate answer from the option given below. That means which is right, which is wrong. Okay, which is right, which is wrong. Let's take your time and read. Take your time and read. If you want me to zoom, I can do that. Don't need to zoom, no? You are all young and you have beautiful eyes. Okay. Yes. See, 28% has not marked their attendance. Bunking class in such a young age. Shame on you people. Shame on you people. Shall I, let's see which is correct. Yes, awesome. Three is the answer. Many of them told four. I don't know why they told four. Let's see why they told four. Okay, four is A and D. Let's see. They lack scales and paired fins. Yes, correct. Okay. Now D, they migrate. Students, they migrate to fresh water. They do not migrate to deep sea. They're coming from deep sea. They migrate to fresh water and they die. Remember? They migrate to fresh water, they lay the larvae and after that the larvae will grow and come back to the deep sea. They will die, right? So this is wrong. This statement is wrong. So the answer is B and D only. They have, see, they have circular mouth with jaws and they bear 6 to 15 pairs of gills. Yeah, 6 to pair. Oh, which is this? Huh, this is wrong and this is wrong. Sorry. They do not have jaws. They are animals which are without jaws okay those two are correct these two are correct yes no confusion i hope yes fine next one 
Now, metagenesis. Read the following statements. Yes, yes. I got it. I got it. I was trying to see which is the statement. I thought they are asking incorrect statement. Yeah. See, metagenesis is observed in helminths. Echinoderms are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Round worms have organ system level of body organization. Comb plates present in tenophores help in digestion. Water vascular system is characteristics of echinoderms. Okay. Poles, we cannot do poles in YouTube, students. It's too difficult. We can do this on wave. Okay, if you people want with poles, we will do it on wave. Okay. Yes. Now, students, tell me the answer for this. Now, what do you have to do? Choose the correct answer. Achoo, did I show the answer? No, no. Yeah. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. Your job. Come on, read the question carefully. Metagenesis is observed in helminths. Echinoderms are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Roundworms have organ system level of organization. Comb plates present in tenophores help in digestion. Chalo, let's see the answer. Yes, awesome. Who is the one who told two? Twinkle told, Subhashni, Rohit. So many told. Every Janani, Rajeshwari, Shri, Dharmesh, Sweetie, Madhumita, Rani, Sebastian. Awesome. Samyutha, Samyukta. I like Samyukta. Okay. Vaishnavi, Saumya. Awesome. Lot of new students. Those who are new to the class, do not forget to tell me hi. Okay. And subscribe to the channel. Okay, students, very good. Awesome. Two is the answer. That is your B, C and your E are correct. Right? Echinoderms are triploblastic, coelomate animals. Roundworms have organ system level of organization. Water vascular system is present in echinoderms. Remember starfish. Okay? Starfish. Students, um, this is why you need to know all the characteristics of your animal kingdom. Questions will only come like this. Okay? They will not ask you any direct question. Okay? So that was the last question of animal kingdom. Do not worry. We have some more questions of some other papers. Now we will do excretory products and chemical coordination. Few tricky questions. Okay. So what I've done is I've collected some tricky questions and put under chapter wise. One mixed round is there where you will do all the type of questions. Because I want to know how much you have studied from me. Chalo, let's start. Now, given below are statements. One is labeled as assertion and other is labeled as reason. The assertion is this. Nephrons are two types. Cortical and juxtamedullary based on their relative position in the cortex and in the medulla. Okay. It is a revision. I don't know how many of you have revised excretory system and uh, chemical coordination. Now, reason is juxtamedullary nephrons have short loop of Henle, whereas cortical nephrons have longer loop of Henle. Okay. Yes, this is the question. Check all of you. So, they are asking which is right, which is wrong. Okay, which is right. Four, you are telling. Okay. Four. That is, A is true, but R is false. Okay. Fine. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Correct. Why? Because juxtamedullary nephron has longer loop. Right? Longer loop and cortical nephron has shorter loop. And the uh, main catch is that Cortical nephron is present 85%. That means major is cortical nephron. Juxtamedullary nephron is only going to work during the stress condition. Now, if I have, if I'm taking fasting, then my juxtamedullary nephron is going to work. Okay, good job, students. Awesome. Now, which of the following statements are correct? Okay, this is a mixture of your so many, you know, you have some touch with your uh, body fluid, some touch with your chemical coordination, some touch with your excretion, okay? Let's see. An excessive loss of body fluid from the body switches off the osmoreceptors. ADH facilitates water reabsorption to prevent diuresis. ANF causes vasodilation. ADH causes increase in blood pressure. ADH is responsible for decrease in GFR. GFR. So, you have to choose the Correct option from the option given below. From the option given below. Yes, I know most of you are fasting. Total respect to all of you who are fasting and still, you know, doing all your daily activities without getting baswasa that zoology wins. Okay. <laughs> so, if you have not liked the session, like the session. Okay, quickly. Now, what is the answer? B. 
ADH facilitates water reabsorption to prevent diuresis. Okay, perfect. C, ANF causes vasodilation. Yes, we know atrial natriuretic factor. Then D, ADH causes increase in blood pressure. Awesome. This is all the renin and all that, you know, your RAS mechanism, ADH mechanism, ANF mechanism. Next question. Arrange the events of renin angiotensin mechanism in correct sequence. That is awesome. Correct sequence. Okay. Yes. Correct sequence. Okay. Students, read the question carefully. Activation of JG cells and release of renin. Angiotensin 2 activated release to aldosterone. Fall in glomerular blood pressure. Reabsorption of NA and water from distal convoluted tubule. Angiotensinogen is converted to angiotensin 1 and then to angiotensin 2. Okay. So, you can start with a problem and then slowly go to solution. Okay. Haha, Baswa sir one na. Wow, wow. Tell Gopika ma'am one. Okay. Come on. All zoology lovers, please. Yes, one. Okay, let me see. Awesome. Yes, you start with the problem because I taught you like that only. No, start with the problem. Only if a problem comes, then the renin has to be released. Without problem, why will you try to find solution? Okay, you are not overthinking. Then why will you find a book uh, how to reduce overthinking? Right, same way. So, first fall will happen, problem came. Then what will happen? Activation of JG cells to release renin. Then what will happen? Angiotensin. After renin gets released, angiotensin will get converted to angiotensin 1. Then it will get converted to angiotensin 2. Okay, here we have your the one which is released from with the help of your lungs, right? Angiotensin converting enzyme. Okay, ACE. Okay. I, should I should I should I stop the class? Okay, you people are telling other other some other subjects and all one <laughs> lagging. Is there a lag? I don't think there's a lag. Students, is there a lag? No, there's no lag. Is there a lag? There's no lag. Check 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 check. It's lagging. Why is for me it's not lagging? Yay, don't tell Chuma Chuma. Chala, next question. Which one of the following hormones working, no? Yeah. Which one of the following hormones, okay, reduces blood pressure? Students, no matter Diksha ma'am wins, Shreya sir wins, Gopika ma'am wins, Baswa sir wins, we want you to win. If you win, it is equal to we win, okay? So, it is directly proportional, okay? Your win. The following hormones reduces blood pressure. Very good. ANS, that is your A. Atrial natriuretic factor. This will act against, this has antagonistic nature to your RAS mechanism and to your ADH mechanism. Okay. Now, look here. Match the following. So, I will zoom it for you and show. These are the, this is your, this one, which is that coordination. Chemical coordination. Okay. Chemical coordination. Why is there a lag? For me, it's fine. Yes, I'll show the options. You're able to see this, no? Kidney, heart, gastric gland and pancreas. Okay, these are the options. Sometimes it's there, huh? I think it's the internet. I don't know, is, is it because I'm standing on this? One second, students. Yes, 2 is the answer. Very good. Awesome. 2 is the option. That is your CSK student. CSK uh, will release help for the pancreatic juice. Yes, pancreatic juice. And then you have GIP, which is again gastro inhibitory hormone. ANF is heart. ADH is kidney. Easy. Very easy question. Now, next one. Which of the following are not under the control of thyroid hormone? Which of the following is not coming under the 
function of thyroid hormone. So, I will zoom it for you. So, it's lag is very uh, for some times only, okay, just here and there. I think it's because some some loose connection here. Okay, look here. Can you read? Maintenance of water and electrolyte, okay. Regulation of basal metabolic rate, normal rhythm of sleep, wake up cycle, development of immune system, support the process of RBC formation. Now, which is not coming under the thyroid gland? Which is not coming under the thyroid gland? Chalo, let's see. Yes, awesome. Which is not coming? Normal rhythm, that is your sleep. Sleep and wake up rhythm does not come under thyroid gland. Yes, and then we have D, that is development of immune system does not come under thyroid gland. Very good. Next question. Which of the following statements are correct with respect to hormone and its function? Okay. Now, thyrocalcitonin or your TCT regulates blood calcium level. In males, FSH and androgen regulates spermatogenesis. Hyperthyroidism can lead to goiter. Glucocorticoids are secreted in adrenal medulla. Parathi parathyroid hormone is regulated by the circulatory levels of sodium ions. Please take your time and read the question. Okay, please take your time and read the question. Yes. Yes, all of you. Quick. Which is the answer? Which of the following statements are correct with you know, the hormone and their function. The answer is A. Typer calcitonin will definitely re regulate the blood calcium level and in males, FSH and androgen regulate spermatogenesis. Other three are not right. Okay, two. Very good. Two. Two correct. Now, next one. Which of the following are not the effect of parathyroid hormone? Okay, which of the following is not Okay, coming under parathyroid hormone. Yes. Yes, look here. Stimulate the process of bone reabsorption. Reabsorption, okay, spelling is wrong. Reabsorption. Decreases calcium levels in the blood. Reabsorption of calcium by renal tubules decreases the absorption of calcium from digested food, increases metabolism of carbohydrates. Now look at the option. Okay. Yes, all of you. Take your time, read the option. I've moved this side. Yes. Look here. Which is the answer? Awesome. Three is the answer, right? Here, decrease of calcium levels in the blood. Which of the following are not the effects of parathyroid? D. Decreases the absorption of calcium. It has nothing to do. E. Increases the metabolism of carbohydrate. Okay. Any doubts? Hyperthyroidism. One second. Which question? This one. Hyperthyroidism can lead to goiter. Goiter can be because of hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. Any abnormal amount of thyroid from the normal amount any abnormal amount of thyroid will lead to hyperthyroid i mean goiter that is the reason they have not given this option okay yes good job next question given below are two statements again assertion and reason this we already did know next question yes nitrogen this also we did students so can you see it is arranged in different orders same questions are given in different different orders now which of the following would help in prevention of diuresis Okay, which would prevent diuresis? First thing, atrial natriuretic factor causes vasoconstriction, decrease in secretion of renin by the JG cells, more water reabsorption due to under secretion of ADH, reabsorption of NA and water from renal tubules due to aldosterone. Which is the answer? Four, are you telling four for this? Okay, let's see. Sweetie, Sebastian, okay. 
Yes. So, which of the following would help in diuresis? What should happen? More water, reabsorption of sodium and water from the renal tubules due to aldosterone. So, the loss of water is happening, right? Loss of water is happening. That has to be regained by using aldosterone to telling that please do conditional reabsorption. Please do conditional reabsorption. Got it? Yes. Now, match the following columns and select the correct options. Okay, match the following columns and select the correct option. Pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, pancreas. Okay, Graves disease, diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, Addison's disease. Now, depending on the disease, you have to cross. Okay, you have to cross. Is this clear? Take your time and read. No problem. Yes. Good job. One, huh? let's see. Very good. Awesome. Okay, so which is it, students? One, three, right? Your column A and column B. So, see here, just look at this. A. So, here you have pituitary gland, diabetes, insipidus. Again, thyroid gland you have. Which will, what will it cause? It will cause Graves' disease. Adrenal gland is there, which will call. Ad you have adrenal gland, which will cause Addison's disease and pancreas. Your diabetes mellitus. Okay. Now, evolution. Ready for evolution? Okay. Students, now we are going to have some fun. Evolution we did recently, so it's easy. Look here. List 1, list 2. Adaptive radiation, convergent evolution, divergent evolution, evolution by anthropogenic activity. Thank you, Teja. Look here. Selection of resistant varieties due to excessive use of herbicides and pesticides, bones of forelimbs in man's and whale, wings of butterfly and birds, Darwin's finches. Now you have to match the following. You have to match the following. So check it, check the question carefully. We have adaptive radiation. Okay, we have students A C H D. Okay, analogous convergent, homologous divergent. Evolution by anthropogenic activity. Let's see, let's see. Okay, three question mark and all is coming. Three question mark and all is coming. Okay. Chalo, let's see the answer. Awesome, three is the answer. Very good, three is the answer. You're faster, very good. So, yes, students, adaptive radiation, Darwin's finches. Yes, convergent evolution, which is the answer for convergent evolution. Wings, obviously, analogous, right? B, C, right? C, yeah, and D. That's all, easy. Now, Select the correct group or set of Australian marsupials exhibiting adaptive radiation. Okay, which among this is showing adaptive radiation? So, look properly. Some of them, so what is the trickiest part of this question is they have mixed placental mammals with Australian marsupials and students will not be able to identify easily. They will look at, oh, Tasmanian wolf, this is the answer. But is bobcat a placental mammal or an Australian marsupial? Okay, so you have to look properly and answer. Let's see who is the one who is getting it right. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I am proud. Thank you, Soumya. Yes, okay. I think some of you got Janani and Vishal. Check once again, check once again. Students, please do not see these two names. Bobcat is a problem. Burger, ma'am likes burgers and sweet. B stands for Bobcat, remember? So, what is the answer? Num Numbat, spotted cuscus and flying phalangers. These are the ones proper Australian marsupials. Other everywhere, if you see, they are mixed with your placental mammals. Okay, this is the way they will make the question difficult. Questions are not actually difficult. Make they will make sure that it is difficult. Okay, now identify the fossil of a man who showed the following characteristics very important brain capacity was 1400 cc used to hide or protect their body buried their dead bodies someone very close to us someone very close to homo sapiens okay they started understanding that okay i need to cover my body i need to you know bury the dead who was that who was that 
Likes are not increasing. Attendance is not being marked. So much effort, no likes. Wow. Okay, let's see. Who is that? Who is that? Yes, Neanderthal man, those are the people who were very close to Homo sapiens who finally realized that, okay, we need to cover our bodies, we need to bury all that, right? That was by your Neanderthal man. Now, natural selection, where more individuals acquire specific character value other than the mean character value. Let's read it once again. Natural selection, This they're talking about the graph, okay, where more individuals acquire specific characters that means tall or short i gave you an example other than the mean character value that means other than the medium if they are acquiring this which type of graph will they have which type of graph will they have okay natural selection where more individual acquire specific character value other than mean value leads to Yes, awesome. Directional students, stabilizing means what? Stabilizing means this is your graph. This is medium. That means we are selecting a middle range, an average. Not too tall, not too short. Not too fair, not too dark. Everything in the medium range, right? We Indians are brown skin tone. So if we are selecting brown skin tone, that means the graph is going to be stabilizing. That means going in one constant, narrow, longer range. But they are telling we are choosing one among them. We are choosing one among them means what? It is going directional. It is going to one side. Okay. So do not make this mistake. It is directional. Now, which of the following statement is not true? Not true. Okay. Flippers of penguins and dolphins are a pair of homologous organs. Analogous structures as a result of convergent evolution. Sweet potato and potato is an example of analogy. Homology indicates common ancestry, which is not true, okay? So, how are you going to remember ACHD or you remember HOF, homologous, or friends, director, and here AOFCD, yes, all of you. Which is answer one. Yes, because flippers of penguins and dolphins are a pair of analogous organs, not homologous, not homologous. Next one. Genetic drift occurs due to. Why does genetic drift happen? What is the reason for it? Okay, what is the reason for it? Is it natural selection, sudden population migration, continuous gene migration or mutation? Which among this causes that? Okay, which among this causes that? Yes. Two, okay. Four, okay, four, multiple answers. Let's see. Students, genetic drift, that means the gene pool or the genetic, the gene, you know, every, every population will have a set of gene, right? A set of species, set of genus. Now, why would that change? It could be because of a sudden population migration. It cannot be because of natural selection. Sudden change will not happen. Continuous gene migration, slowly the genetic drift will happen. But if suddenly genetic drift has to ha happen, that is because of sudden population change. Okay. Okay. Sudden population change. Got it? Fine. Select the correct match regarding adaptive radiation of Australian marsupials corresponding to placental mammals. Mam likes burgers and sweets on weekend. After this short, I got a lot of message on my Telegram, on my Instagram, telling, ma'am, we will buy you burger and sweet when we after we crack meat. Okay, so I have decided that I would not eat burger and sweet until you people crack meat. Okay, so if you want me to be healthy, unhealthy, eat junk food, you have to crack meat this year and buy me burger and sweet, or else I'm not eating. 
okay don't make it too long students please i love burgers and sweet i'm sacrificing it for you people so crack and bring it okay yes let's see what's the answer what are they telling four okay yes awesome spotted cuscus and lame lemur lemur okay this yes okay good job good job did you all take my challenge up don't make it too long okay come with burger and sweet as soon as possible now panspermia an idea that is still a favorite for some of the astronomers means what means what okay creation of life from dead and decaying matter creation of life from chemicals operin and haldin origin of sperm in human testes transfer of spores as a unit of life from other planets of earth which is the answer yes no need to even wait because the answer is so easy it is seeds of life that means transfer of seeds of life from another planet or from the universe to the earth that was believed that is theory was proposed by alfred valet variations are small directional changes single step large mutation is a cause of speciation large differences due to mutation arise gradually in the population single step large mutation is called what ad is coming wait why for me lag is not there yeah for you people lag is there i don't know what's wrong students give me 5 more minutes the studio team will come i will ask them to check okay just wait for 2 3 minutes 12 o'clock they will all come you want me to check now only or you will run away off okay no lag huh? good vaishnavi yes single step okay single step large mutation is the cause of speciation and what is this single step large mutation called saltation this last single step mutation is called saltation do not forget this they can ask this also as the question okay next one why is why you people having one now the factor that leads to the founders effect in population is remember founders effect was there bottleneck uh, effect was there so founders effect is talking about what mutation natural selection genetic drift genetic recombination okay tell me the answer for this yes all of you easy question think properly evolution saltation yes correct saltation factors that leads to founders effect in a population is founders effect hmm good job two genetic drift is one reason for founders effect okay next question ready now can you see this i think it's too small which of the following refers to the correct example of organism that have evolved due to the changes in the environment brought by anthropogenic activities okay now i'll zoom the option so all of you see they're telling because of anthropogenic activities which are the things that has got evolved first one is darwin's finches of galapagos island herbicide resistant weeds drug resistant eukaryotes man created breeds of domesticated animals like dog which of the following refers to the correct example of organism that has evolved due to changes in the environment brought about by man made activities man made activities okay now shall i show you the answer two is the answer awesome most of you got it right that means students b c and d is caused because of anthropogenic and activities we are making german shepherds because we need lot of you know lot of crimes are happening so we we you know want german shepherd we do not want a pomeranian or a, a shidzu for doing the police work right same way herbicide resistant weeds and drug resistant eukaryotes these are also done now all of you would have seen that news no that uh, consumption of grapes is the reason why we have throat pain why a lot of people have fever that is because they are using your pesticides have you seen that net they are spraying the pesticide they are putting green color for the green uh, which is not even green grapes they are coloring it so that is what happens when the population increases and when the season has reached the amount of people who consume will be more so what they will do before the grapes even ripe they will start painting the grapes that's all so that is the reason okay so if you are eating grapes do wash it multiple times now from this experiment sl miller produced amino acids by mixing which of the following in a closed 
which is the following in a closed flask. So what did he really, uh, you know, he found, he found three amino acids, alanine, aspartic acid and glycine. How did he do that? With the help of what? CH3, very close, you know, very close options have been given. And trust me on this, this also a lot of students made mistake. I feel my students are prepared. My students are prepared. They will not make the mistake. Shallow, let's see. Very good. Awesome. My students are perfect because four is the answer. So many students, what they did, they opted for this option. Why? Because they ignored in that tension, no? They did not see CH3. They, uh, you know, they just thought that, okay, H2 is there, CH3 is there, NH4 is there, water vapor is there, and 800 degrees Celsius. So, this is what happens. When you're sitting in the exam hall, you're very tensed, and you're always in a panic mode. So, that time, you will not see this 3, 4, 1, 2, or A, B, correct, incorrect. So, that is why you need to practice a lot, so you feel calm. Okay. Question also, it is very important, I told you from NCRT, which among this is very important, like in the sense with, uh, how, after how many years earth was formed certain time after that when did life come when did life come lag is there huh? one second students i'll talk to the team one second i'll talk one second students i'll talk to the team Hello students, I have spoke with the team, they will check. It could be because, uh, you know, we are doing question answers, right? We are wait I am waiting for your reply, no? So that time there is a small lag. Okay, it's not a big thing, so do not run away telling, oh, ma'am had lag, so I am just going home. Oh, if, you sit if you make excuses, marks won't come. Yes, very good, 500 million years. Okay, next question. A fossil discovered in Java or a hominid fossil discovered in Java in 1891 now extinct having a cranial capacity of about 900 cc. So this is your Java man. Remember all of you Java man. So Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, uh, Neanderthal and Australopithecus. Which among this? Very easy question. I do not even have to wait. Which among this is called the Java man? He uh, like the fossil was found in 1891 and they had a brain capacity of 900 cc. Chalo, chalo, fast, fast. Yes, awesome. Who is that, yeah? Uh, pet son, I don't know what's the name. Okay, very fast they're answering. Good job, good job, sweetie, Jyoti, Pujita. Amazing, amazing. Homo erectus is the Java man who was whose fossil was found in 1891 and they have a brain capacity of 900 cc. Okay, chalo, next question. A gene locus has two alleles, okay, A and capital A and small a. If the frequency of the dominant allele is 0 0.4, then what will be the frequency of homozygous dominant, heterozygous and homozygous recessive individual in the population? So, we have A, 0 0.4, okay, they are asking us what will be homozygous dominant, heterozygous. So, we have to find A, A. And we have to find AA. This is our job. This is our job. Okay. 
So how will you find? This question also was done lot of times. Lot of times many students have asked this question. It's a very easy question. So you will have to do your Hardy Weinsberg, right? So P square plus 2PQ plus Q square is equal to 1. With this formula, you will have to find it out. Can you all solve it? Yes. Most of you know. Any doubts? Do you, do you want me to solve? Yes. Very good. Okay. So how will you do? You did a 0 0.4 square. Then you get 2 into 0 0.4 into whatever answer you got. Then that you will get AA. That is your heterozygous will be 0 0.48. That you just minus it with 1. Right. Then you, again the 0 0.36 will be your AA. Okay. Use this formula itself. One, okay. Yes. Breathing and exchange, ready? Breathing and exchange, we are going very fast, no? We'll do as many questions as possible, students. Okay. Some, actually, a lot of questions from the previous years, like digestion, a lot of questions had come. Reflex action, a lot of questions has come. I, ear, a lot of questions have come. Structural organization, here and there, a lot of questions have come. Uh, earthworm. Then, so a lot of deleted portions questions have come that completely have removed. So, questions will be a little less for zoology because of the deleted syllabus. Okay, do not worry. But we are doing maximum questions. Okay, and those who are attending this class till the end, I promise you that you are zoology marks are going to improve drastically because now you know five years paper questions from zoology. Okay, so it's a very awesome thing because if you do alone, no, sometimes you don't end up doing. Now, once you practice botany also with Vaswasa, you'll have an idea what is happening. Then, little more, we'll give you some more mock papers and we'll give you dash ml of oxygen to the tissues. Remember, we did a complete calculation for this, if you remember. So, what did we do? So, basically, 15 grams of hemoglobin normally is there in a person. Okay, normal hemoglobin count, count is 15 grams. Okay, that is so your 100 ml of blood. Now, what happens is, 1 gram of hemoglobin, okay, 1 gram of Hb can absorb up to 1.34 of oxygen. This also we know. So, if 1 gram of hemoglobin can absorb 1.34, then 15 will be how much? 15 into 1.34, it will come somewhere approximately 19.8 to 20. So, round off we take 20. So, 20 ml. Out of this 20 ml, only one certain amount. Yes, awesome, very good. Only 5 ml will be going to tissues in normal condition. So, the answer is what? 5 ml. Easy. Okay. So, if you need the calculation, you can look at that calculation because sometimes they can also give hemoglobin uh, calculation. So, you should know that also. Okay. Next one. Students, the catch here is normal physical condition because normally 20 ml can go, but in normal condition, only 5 ml can go. Okay. Next one, when under certain conditions, the P50 value of hemoglobin rises, the affinity of the pigment of combining with oxygen will remain the same, rise, fall, and first rise, then fall. So, under normal condition, P50 value of hemoglobin rises, okay. The affinity of the pigment of combining with oxygen, that means the affinity of your hemoglobin to combine with oxygen will increase, decrease, fall, what will happen? I think this many students might go wrong. I have a feeling. Let's see. I'll wait for two minutes. Think properly and answer. P50 students, P50 value. Think about your graph. Think about your graph. Yes. It has reached some suburban value will, that means the affinity will, is falling down. Got it? Is it, is it easy now? Any doubts for this? Please let me know in the comments. Is it easy? Only one question was tricky, but others all you answer. So, do not get disheartened. Okay? Do not get disheartened. Dissociation curve, I told you, you will not understand in one shot. I will teach you once again dissociation curve properly one uh, live I will take. That time we will try to understand with more numericals. Okay? Don't get disheartened. Okay? Yes. Hemoglobin that is bonded to carbon monoxide and therefore cannot transport oxygen is called what? What is the combination of carbon monoxide with hemoglobin? Very simple question. Simple question, but can you believe this was asked in NEET? These are all previous year papers. Okay, these are all previous year papers. 
think many of you joined late. Four, okay. Yes, very good. Carbamino hemoglobin. Carboxy hemoglobin is when carbon dioxide binds with hemoglobin. When carbon monoxide binds with hemoglobin, it is called as carbamino hemoglobin. Good job. My students are fast, yaar. Truckee divides into two right left bronchi at the level of. Very awesome question. Very easy question also. Students, Truckee, I told you, you know, that it is mentioned in your NCRT. Truckee will divide. Exactly where? Exactly where? Is it 7th, 3rd, 5th? All are telling different, different answer, huh? Or most of you are telling last one. Four, three, okay. Fifth thoracic, seventh thoracic. Fifth thoracic. Remember, your trachea division, that means to your primary and secondary, that division is happening in the fifth thoracic vertebrae. Yes or no? Yes, now most of you got it. I think some of you told seventh. Okay. Select the sequence of steps in respiration. Okay, respiration, not your plant respiration, animal respiration. First thing, diffusion of gases, that means carbon dioxide and oxygen across the uh, alveolar membrane. Diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and the tissues. Transport of gases by blood. Pulmonary ventilation by which atmospheric air is drawn in and carbon dioxide rich alveolar air is released out. Inhaling, exhaling. Utilization of oxygen by the cells for catabolic reaction and resultant release of carbon dioxide. My God, so much English I haven't read in my entire life. Choose the correct answer from the option given below. Okay, take your time and do it. Take your time and do it. And drink water. Hydrate yourself. Oh, Rani, Akshaya, full on, full fast. Chennai Express. Attendance is not coming. I have to keep reminding every, like how you people eat tablets, you know, I have to remind. No attendance students, mark your attendance students. All those who join new, mark your attendance. Jaldi, jaldi. Okay, let's see. One, na? Okay. Very good, very good. Let's see what's the order. Okay, exhaling and inhaling first. Okay. Then they are telling A. Diffusion of gases first. Uh, alveolar exchange should happen. Then only blood and tissues will happen, right? See, then transport of gases by blood. Okay, good. Then B, diffusion of gases to blood and tissues. E is utilization of oxygen. That is the last step. Why are we doing all this? This question should, I mean, question, sorry. This uh, cellular respiration or your cellular activity should happen, right? <laughs> yes, totally. You have to de take deep breaths to do all these questions. Rakesh is on point. Which of the following is not the function of conducting part of the respiratory system? Remember, you had a conducting part and you have a respiratory part. This is the reason, students, if you attend my class, there is not even one PYQ that you cannot solve because I mention everything in the class. Maybe in textbook it is mentioned somewhere, but I always mention properly in my notes. Yes or no? Yes, PDF we will give you on Telegram, students. Not now. Everything combined we will give you. Okay, everything combined we will give you. It takes time, students, because this will go to our team. Team will do the work, not us. Okay, one. Awesome. Yes, it provides surface for diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide. That is their job. They will not help in exchange. They will just do the facilitation. They will do humidification and all that. Here, what they are asking, which of the following is not a function? These are all the function. It clears inhaled air, filtration happens, humidification happens, temperature regulation happens. Okay? Yes, good job. Which of the following disorder represents decrease in respiratory surface due to damaged alveolar walls? So, if the alveolar walls get damaged, which is the disease that is expected or which is the disorder that is expected? Okay? All of you. <coughs> I told about graves and throat pain. Now I'm getting throat pain. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, look at the speed. Awesome. That is such a nice thing. Yes, correct. Okay. Emphysema is the condition when the decrease, that means breathing, the space has decreased, right? The surface area has decreased. Okay. In the regulation of respiration, students, you are going to see amazing molecular basis question. After this molecule, the maximum volume of air a person can breathe in after a forced expiration, it includes ERV, RV and IRV. The maximum volume of air a person can breathe out after forced inspiration. Now I have to breathe or else I'll collapse. After reading the question, I have to breathe. I have to do a forced inspiration and expiration. Okay. Students, read the option properly. Breathe. Please breathe. Sometimes when I'm reading, no, I forget to breathe. Have you, not, have you done that? They're so busy typing the answer, they don't even want to talk to me. They're like, ma'am, why are you talking? Two, three, four, five. Students lag is only because I'm walking, that's why the said and I'm, I'm waiting. That's the reason there might be a slight lag, but it's not a proper lag lag. Okay, so stop link, stop complaining. Okay, let's see which is the option. Three. Very good, very good. A, C and E. Which of the following statements are correct? Correct. Okay, so A, it includes perfect. C, the maximum volume of air a person can breathe in after a forced expiration. Then E. The maximum volume of air a person can breathe out after a forced inspiration. Awesome. Now, the partial pressure in mmHg of oxygen and carbon dioxide at PCO2, right? Some numbers were given here. You have to tell that number. You have to tell the partial pressure. All of you, tell me in the chats what's the answer. Yes, very good. What is it? 104 and 40. That was the one in the alveoli. Same question can come uh, in your tissues. Okay, so you have to be very, very prepared. You have to know the entire thing. Okay. Yes. Is it? Carbon dioxide is given. I'll check that. Okay, I'll check that. Do not worry. Identify the wrong statement with reference to transport of oxygen. Students, wrong statement. Wrong statement. You know, you won't believe. 50% uh, of students could not crack neat last year and the previous year because of these kind of words wrong incorrect correct in that panic mode no they do not read the question otherwise you see zoology questions are very easy all of you are able to answer right all of you have attended classes with me may, might not have attended class with me would have watched recorded sessions but you are capable of doing so why did most of them not score good in bio main reason is this panic okay panic mode Yes, yes, I will check that. I think it's carbon dioxide mentioned in the textbook. I will definitely check that. Okay. Yes. Look here. What's the answer? Higher H plus concentration in the alveoli fa uh, fa <laughs> favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Oxyhemoglobin. Okay. Got it. That means oxygen and hemoglobin combination will happen better if... They are telling it will happen better if there is a higher concentration of H+. plus. So, what is the st statement? Which is the wrong statement? Well, how will H+, plus favor that? Right? Your H2O breaking down will happen. But this is wrong statement. Okay? Next one. Select the correct statement. Okay? Select the correct statement. Exactly. H+, plus will decrease the oxygen capacity. H+, plus will not increase. H+, plus will decrease the oxygen capacity. Now, select the correct statement. Expiration occurs due to external intercostal muscles. Intrapulmonary pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure during inspiration. Inspiration occurs when atmospheric pressure is less than the intrapulmonary pressure. Expiration is initiated due to contraction of diaphragm. Please read the question carefully. Then only answer. No hurry is there. No one is running anywhere. Please answer. I think now all of you can see. I was hiding. I was covering a little. Okay, two, four. Yes, very good. Akshaya, JDSS, JDSS, DPI. Okay, sweetie, Abhishek, Roslyn, Nancy, Sin, Aduri, Madhumita, Akshaya, Rani, Sebastian. These are all little regular students. Okay, YS. I know my regular students' names. At least I know their YouTube names. I don't know what their real names are. 
Yes, what's the answer? Very good. Two is the answer, right? Intrapulmonary pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure during inspiration. If I have to take the air in, that means it, air will move from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. If inside is lower concentration, then only atmospheric air will be pressured or moved inside. Got it? Basic thing. Basic thing. Now, vital capacity of lung. How will you calculate the vital capacity of lung? Okay, this is the formula. Please calculate the vital capacity. Okay, is it inspiratory, uh, inspiratory res reserve volume or expiratory reserve volume? I'm just telling the full form. Okay, TV is your uh, tidal volume, RV is your residual volume. Now with this, please try to calculate. Awesome, yeah, so good, good. Answers are coming faster. Awesome, four is the answer, right? That is your inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, and your tidal volume. Chalo, next question. Se select the favor. F why am I telling? F favorable condition required for the formation of oxyhemoglobin at the alveoli. Okay. Yes. Now, select the favorable condition required for the formation of oxyhemoglobin at alveoli. Just now, we did a similar question. But this question was again asked in 2019 and that was asked in 2021. So the pattern has changed but the question remains the same. Okay. Let's see what's the answer. Okay. I know the answer all of you. Yes. Good job. Three is the answer because high oxygen level, low carbon dioxide level, less hy uh, hydrogen, lower temperature. This will facilitate formation of oxyhemoglobin. Okay. Oxyhemoglobin. Ready? Molecular basis of inheritance. Ready? Ready? Molecular basis of inheritance. Now I'll test my students, really. Okay, how many of you have seen molecular basis of inheritance with me? How many of you have watched my molecular basis of inheritance lecture? Okay, raise your hands. Raise your hands in the class. If I was in offline, I would have asked you people to raise your hands. I'll give you questions, yeah? Talk to me first. Answer my question. Don't be like, oh, ma'am is talking. One minute is gone. Raise your hands. Okay. Okay. Yes. Should raise like Rani. That emoji people don't have. Okay. Good job. Many of you have seen. Chumma people tell. No, Chumma, Chumma you will tell. Yes, ma'am, I also saw. Chumma, you people will tell. If I was in offline, I would have caught you. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's start. First one. Uni equal. I don't know. This word never comes to my mouth, students. Okay. Understood, no? Please. Okay. Uni equivocal proof that DNA is the genetic material was first proposed by who? Easy of the easiest question. Okay. Easy of the easiest question. Come on. Thank you, Nidu. Yes. Okay, let's see. B is the answer. Okay. Who was the first people to tell that DNA is the genetic material? Please do not tell Griffith. Griffith did not even know what that was. Griffith was like, Chalo, I'll call it transforming principle. Okay. Don't tell Griffith. I'll sit and cry in one side. Okay. Okay, very good. Hershey and Chase was the first people to prove properly with an experiment. Okay, next one. What is the role of RNA polymerase 3 in the process of transcription in eukaryotes? Okay, this is a very, not a direct question. It's a little twisted, indirect question, a little out of syllabus also. But you should know, I told you, you know, RMT. Okay, RRNA 1, 2, Three. R, RNA, mRNA, tRNA, RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2, RNA polymerase 3. Yes. Can you guess the answer? Can you guess the answer? So, look here. What is the role of RNA polymerase 3? Okay. So, students, how will you remember RRNA, mRNA, tRNA? RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2, RNA polymerase 3. I've given the answer. I've given the answer. Yes, very good. Some of you got it. Transcription of tRNA, 5 RNA, and snRNA. Now, students, imagine you do not know 5 RNA or all that. At least you know tRNA. So, how will you remember? Think of this RMT. Okay. 
So transcription of RRNA will happen one RNA polymerase one, mRNA RNA polymerase two, tRNA RNA polymerase three. The question is RNA polymerase three. This is the only way to remember RMT like your what is the MTR MTR Archi Everest all that masalas you have not like that you think of RMT is the one masala okay and this is how you remember. Chalo next question. Express sequence tag or your ESTs refer to what? So when they did the DNA fingerprinting, they had, sorry, not DNA fingerprinting, your head GP, they had two methodologies. One was a blind approach and one was a proper approach. The proper approach is express sequence tags. So you should know, I've given you clues. Only for this chapter, I'll give you clues, okay? After that, no clues. Yes, let's see, come on, come on. A, one, okay. Yes, very good. Students, all the genes that are expressed as RNA, that means all the coding strand, express sequence tag was focusing on who is going to code. I only have job with them. But your sequence annotation or your starting, your blind approach was, I'll take everything, coding, non-coding. What is for me? Like how you people go and attend 100 lives and you'll be like, oh, what is there for me? I will learn from all 100 teachers. Wrong. Okay, you should be focused. Now, next one. Match list one with list two. Gene A, Gene Y, Gene I, Gene Z. This is entirely your PIPO ZYA. PIPO ZYA, lac operon concept. Now look here, easy to match. I will not give you clue. I will not give you clue. All of you should be able to answer. B. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Two, okay, good job. Should I wait some more time? I think some of you are still reading. Yes, all of you got it. Good job. Students two, that is what gene A will give trans. So, see what is the catch here, you know. See, usually students will study Z, Y, A. Here they have given A, Y, I, Z. So, now you will be confused. You will put for A, you will put beta galactosidase. So, that's why they are trying to confuse you. Okay, permeas, okay, I will do your various repressor protein and Z will do this beta galactosidase, okay, good job. Next one, given, given below are two statements, statement one, okay, I will read it for you, then I'll zoom it for you, okay. In prokaryotes, the positively charged DNA is held with some negatively charged proteins in a region called as nucleoid, okay. In eukaryotes, the negatively charged DNA is wrapped around a positively charged histone octomer to form nucleosome. Now, which among these statements are correct? Okay, assertion and reasoning type. So, once again, I'll zoom it for you students. You want to see the option, no? Okay, these are the options. Statement 1 is correct. So, they're talking about prokaryotes and eukaryotes. You only write which you are sure about. You know one thing pakka, so write that. What you are sure, do that. Okay, two, two, one, both, both option, both statement one. Okay, positively charged DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Students, how will this be correct? In prokaryotes, the positively charged DNA is held by negatively charged protein. Who taught you this? Who taught you this blunder? Students, in negatively charged DNA will be wound around positively charged histone. You only know that. Then why are you telling things that you don't know? Please be play safe. Play safe. Statement 1 is incorrect, but statement 2 is true. Next question. Which of the following is not a clone? Which of the following is not a cloning vector? Cloning vector, think properly. You know the answer. Probe, so this options are ulta pulta, okay? Which, is, which among this is not a cloning vector? Probe, yak, back, what is yak and back full form? Bacterial artificial chromosome and yeast artificial chromosome, right? And then we have your PBR322, which you'll study in your biotechnology. I will take biotechnology. Every day, don't send me message, students. I'm getting scared, not even getting sleep because of you people. Every single day, one message will be there on my Instagram and my Telegram. Telling Gopika, ma'am, biotechnology, biotechnology. When I'm seeing uh, in the comments also, ma'am, biotechnology, I will do, I will do, okay? I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> right? Okay, what's the answer? Probe, very good, probe, okay? 
चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गिवन बिलो आर स्टेटमेंट स्टूडेंट दीज आर प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन सो आई डोट नो वाई यू पीपल स्केर ऑफ मॉलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इजी क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग नो डीएनए म्यूटेट्स एट अ फास्टर रेट वायरस हैविंग डीएनए सॉरी आरएनए जीनोम एंड शॉर्टर लाइफ स्पैन म्यूटेट एंड इवॉल्व फास्टर ओके इन द लाइट ऑफ द अबव स्टेटमेंट इन द लाइट ऑफ द अबव स्टेटमेंट चूज द करेक्ट आंसर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन गिवन बिलो RNA mutates at a faster rate. We all agree to that. Virus having RNA genome and shorter lifespan mutate and evolve faster. Now the catch, okay? <laughs> Not go big on biotechnology, ma'am. If you don't teach biotechnology, then I don't know what you will do. Nightmare you people will do. People usually, you know, get scared seeing some. bad dreams or something but i see students asking biotechnology yes okay good job both statement 1 and statement 2 are right because both are st correct students the first thing rna is not approved as a genetic material because it is able to do mutation faster right it mutates at very higher rate so we cannot keep it as a genetic material second thing is even though they are shorter life span people what do they do the moment they catch the host they will make sure that the genome enters inside and they manipulate the host genome both are right okay yes the process now given below are two statements see this is all your need given below two statements which is right which is wrong only assertion reasoning in different different pattern the process of copying genetic information from one strand of the dna into rna is termed as transcription copy okay a transcriptional unit in dna is defined primarily by three regions in the dna that is promoter structural gene and terminator no terminal terminal okay in the light of the above statement read the question only in light of the statement you should read the question okay yes what's the answer 3 2 all are all are deleting the message before i see you know you people are so smart okay imagine you put 1 and then all others are putting 3 immediately you will delete the message so smart kid so smart what is the answer 3 is the answer i don't know why people are telling one yeah what is one statement one is true but statement two is false ha huh? why statement two is false a transcription unit in dn uh, sorry sorry dna is defined primarily by three regions promoter terminator promoter structural gene and terminator you can call it terminal region or terminator region okay it is just a grammatical synonyms so you cannot tell it is wrong both the statements are correct yes or no now next question which scientists conducted an experiment with p32 and s35 labeled phages for demonstrating that dna is a genetic material who was the scientist who did this okay who was the scientist who did experiment with p32 and s35 easy question all my students know should i wait ha ah, should read the option carefully students please that's my only request you are all prepared you all know the concept really well and that is one thing i've noticed with vedantu neat english crowd you people know the concept really well the problem is when you do mock papers and pyqs you get very demotivated so i feel you lack that motivation other than that you people are awesome so just make sure that you read the option correctly correct incorrect take some time no problem you have time okay i know physics will take time to solve but you have time for biology do not try to get 360 out of in biology okay my students are capable very good hershey and chase now which one of the following acts as an inducer for lacoprone can you believe these are neat questions and people still tell molecular basis is difficult at least students who watched with me molecular basis is not difficult okay come on which one of the following act as an inducer who is the one who will go and bind with the repressor and tell i will not leave you i will not leave you to the operator who is the person you all have a sibling no who will never leave you like that when sibling it is it will not leave the repressor no matter what repressor wherever you want to go i will also come with you yes very good very good that is your 
lactose okay lactose please don't because it's ulta pulta don't write glucose lactose now with reference to hershey chase experiment select the correct statement okay select the correct statement first one hershey chase experiment lot of questions from hershey hershey chase experiment okay yes yes next one virus grown in the presence of radioactive phosphorus contained radioactive dna virus grown on radioactive sulfur contained radioactive protein i think you should only read the question because if i read i think you will get confused so read the question peacefully and then only answer okay good job let's see yes a and b only okay a and b is the uh, correct answer that means virus grown in the presence of radioactive phosphorus contain radioactive dna because dna has phosphorus p32 was shown right next is b virus grown on radioactive sulfur contain radioactive protein simple scriptionally active histone octomer is wrapped by negatively charged dna nucleosome histones are rich in lysine and arginine a typical nucleosome contains 400 base pairs of dna helix okay so choose the correct answer from the options so there is three three of them can be correct okay so check which are the ones you can you chromatin how will you remember um hetero heavy dense that's how i told you to learn so yeah easy two who is the answer you people are telling or is it for the previous question i think lag is there only while this text is moving yes okay three two aha, three three two two phone number you're giving rakesh is giving phone number students three three two two it seems okay very good three is the answer right a Euchromatin is loosely packed. How did I tell you to remember? Heterochromatin. H stands for heavy or huge, right? So heavy, other word is dense. So densely packed. So you can think euchromatin is loosely packed. Okay. Then C. Histone octomers are wrapped by negatively charged DNA. Pakka. Histones are rich in lysine and arginine. Awesome. Done. Next one. The process of translation of mRNA to proteins begins as soon as. Okay, the question is, the process of translation of mRNA to proteins begins as soon as who will come and bind, who will be ready, all that. The tRNA is activated and the larger subunit of ribosome encounters mRNA. The smaller subunit of ribosomes encounters the mRNA. I have told this in class so many times. Okay, the larger subunit of ribosomes encounters mRNA. Both the subunits join together to bind with the mRNA. I told you it is like a lens. They are like one set of people. They will come together. So who are those people? Let's see how many of you will get this right. I will be proud of the students who get it right. Two. Okay. Very good. The smaller subunit of ribosome encounters the mRNA. Correct? Right? So, here what happens? The tRNA is activated and the larger subunit of the ribosome encounters. So, tRNA and the larger subunit will come. Then the small uh, sub, subunit will come and join. Okay? Yes. Next one. Which one of the following is the sequence on corresponding coding strand if the sequence on mRNA is formed as below? Okay, which of the following is the sequence of the coding strand? So, this is the template strand. You have to find the answer for the coding strand. All of you, they are already telling answer. Huh? A, U. Yes. A will bind with who? A will bind with U. 
you will bind with i'm waiting for your answer so i'm b2 2 wait let's check yeah no i think this students i, I think we marked it wrong because a cannot bind with a no this is the correct answer. 2 is the correct answer, not 3. Okay, do not worry. 2 is the correct answer. Okay, I marked it wrong. Now, the process of translation of mRNA to protein begins as soon as. Done. Okay, correct. Uh, done. Yes, okay. In an E. coli strain, the I gene gets mutated and its product cannot bind the inducer molecule. If the growth medium is provided with lactose, what will be the outcome? What will be the outcome okay yeah they show the sequence like that so that you take a lot of time okay a lot of time to uh, you know waste time in that question now students look at this question in an e coli strain the i gene gets mutated and its product cannot bind with the inducer molecule if the growth medium is provided with lactose what will be the outcome the question is beautiful now you need to think of the situation okay e coli is there I strain will uh, form repressor protein or your repressor. But they are telling this got mutated and its product cannot bind with the inducer. That means this repressor is not able to bind with the inducer. Okay, now we added lactose into it. If lactose is there, gene should get activated. Right, gene should get activated and inducer should go and bind with the repressor. But some mutation happened. So, what will happen? Let's see what you people will tell. Three. Okay, very good. Because ZYA genes will not be translated. What has happened? Even though lactose is there, inducer is not able to bind with the repressor because I gene got mutated. So that means what? ZYA will not be get translated. ZYA will not release any enzyme, nor it will do anything, right? So it will not get translated. Got it? Good job. Good job, all of you. Good job. Anyone has a doubt? Try to understand once again. Okay. You want me to explain? I'm ready to explain. Okay. Now, students, if the length of a DNA molecule is 1.1 meter, okay, what will be the approximate number of base pairs? So, how will you calculate? Imagine you do not know anything. You do not know how to calculate. You do not know anything. Then what you will do? See, uh, total length of DNA. Okay, total length of DNA. divided by your base pair that is the distance between your base pair between base pair so what is the total length 1.1 meter divided by 0 0.34 nanometer now i'll convert this meter 1.1 into 10 to the power 9 divided by 0 0.34 tell me what is the answer use your calculator and tell me I know most of you know the answer, but for students who do not know the answer, please see this is the way you do it. What will your answer be somewhere? It will be something like 3.2543 something. So, we will round it off to 3.3 into 10 to the power 9. Right? So, the option will be A. Got it? Yes. Those who do not know, please do it this way. Okay? One point. That is total length of DNA divided by 0 0.34. That is distance. This will be the answer. Any Anything. Now, if they have given your DNA is 2.2 meters, different answer. If the DNA is 1.5 meters, different 1.6 meters. So, whichever meter they give, you can easily do with this formula because all the time they will not give you 1.1. Because it is 1.1, this was easier for to find. Okay. Yes. So, I have given the, you know, technique if you want to know. Next one. 10 E. coli. Student, this is a beautiful question. Let's try to understand. See. 10 E. coli cells with, with N15, your, this is Messelson and Stahl, okay, double-stranded DNA are incubated in a medium containing N14 nucleotides. After 60 minutes, how many E. coli cells will have DNA totally free from N14? Okay, even though all of you know this, I will still do it. Some of you might not know it, no problem. Okay, look here, 10 E. coli cells are there. Let's not take 10, let's take 1. Okay, 1 is easier. So, 1. They are telling hybrid will be there, right? First, when I incubate it, I am going to get a hybrid. Simple, I am going to get a hybrid. So, 
So students, first generation, first generation, I got a hybrid. Okay, that means N14, N15, N14, N15. Okay, first generation. After that, I kept it for 20 minutes more. Here, what am I going to get? I'm going to get double of this. Just separate these strands. One, okay, two. Three, four. Now, I'm going to dip it in N14 for a longer time. So, one, two, three, four. So, I got four. Okay, four. I know most of you know the answer, but still, wait for some people will not know. Let's help them. Here, so what is happening? This is hybrid. I'll just write hybrid. I will not write N14, N15. Hybrid. This is also hybrid. Okay. This is proper N14. This is proper N14. This is again after this 20 minutes. 20 minutes I'm keeping. What will happen? If I separate this, I'm going to get. If I separate this, how many am I going to get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, look here students, how many did I get? For those students who do not know, don't hesitate. Many will know the answer. You do not worry. I got one hybrid, one hybrid. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I got six, six cells, okay, I got six cells, okay, without, without N15, okay, so they are telling 10 E. coli, I did for one E. coli, if I am getting for 10 E. coli, then it will be how much, 10 into 6, 60 cells, okay, otherwise one shortcut is, you know that they are telling 60 minutes, that means it will keep multiple, uh, um, increasing, First generation 20 you will get. Next generation 40. Next generation 80. 80 minus your first 20. Hybrid. First 20. 60 cells. Two ways you can do it. Three ways are there to do it. But you can do it. This is this is easier. Now you know the 60 cells. Did you understand students? Did you understand? Okay. Otherwise how did I tell? Multiplication is happening for 60 minutes. Okay. First generation you will get 20 cells. This will multiplicate right it will become 40 cells 40 will become 80 cells and you know the first cells will be the hybrid cells so you can do 80 minus 20 to get 60 this is one method of doing it but this is not very genuine like it's not proper how will you assume the 20 hybrid so you can use this method this is another method i hope all of you understood okay i hope all of you understood so the answer is 60 cells okay 60 cells yes now Complete the flowchart on central dogma. DNA is there, mRNA is there and dash. Okay. Now you have to find the answer. Okay. You have to find the answer. Very easy. Central dogma. One of uh, neat favorite questions. One of everyone's favorite questions actually. Yes, easy, no? Yes, very good. So, DNA will form its own copy with the help of replication. DNA will become mRNA with the help of transcription. mRNA will become protein with the help of translation, right? That's it. Identify the correct statement, okay? The coding strand in a transcriptional unit is copied to an mRNA. Split gene arrangement is characteristic of prokaryotes. In capping, methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the 3 dash end of the HN RNA. RNA polymerase binds to the rho factor to terminate the process of transcription in bacteria. Okay, every statement has a small error. Now you have to find which is the one which is very, very correct. Okay, I'll give you time. All of you take your time and let me know which is wrong. Easy question. Class will be there until I finish some questions. Oh God, what happened? Yes.
Very good, very good. Which is the one? Yes. Students, look here. The coding strand and transcription unit is copied to an mRNA. Definitely wrong. Split gene is a characteristic only present in eukaryotes. Now, in capping, methyl guanosine. Yes, capping is done by methyl guanosine triphosphate. But it is added to the 5 dash end, not to the 3 dash end. Okay? Of the HNRNA. Definitely wrong. Right? Now, the last one is correct. Agreed? Now, DNA fingerprinting involves identifying differences in sp some specific regions in the DNA sequence called as some specific regions, okay? DNA sequence. What is that DNA fingerprinting? I kept repeating this in the class. All of you know the answer. Quick, quick. Yes. Yes, correct. Okay. Twinkle is telling short forms. U5 dash, okay. What's the answer for this? Students, DNA fingerprinting involves identifying differences in the one. The codon AUG codes for methionine and phenylalanine. Okay. Statement 2. AAA, AAG, both codes for amino acid lysine. Lysine. Okay. Now, which among the statements are correct? Okay. Okay, Nidhi. Which among the statements AA and AAG, both codes for amino acid lysine. Now, you'll have a doubt, ma'am. Uh, you told genetic code box, you do not have to study. Yes, but I also told one thing. Lysine, arginine, valine, phenylalanine, all these are very common, common amino acids, which is repeated in other chapters also. So, it is always better if you at least look at them, like you cannot learn them, but at least look at them, right? Look at them, okay? Yes. Yes, very good. Yes, I'll give you a break. I'll give you a break. Do not worry, I'll give you a break. Let's finish molecular basis, then I'll take, give you a break. Yes, so students, uh, there's an amazing thing. We have finished our molecular basis. There are a lot of questions again from molecular basis. I've put in the mixed chapters. Okay, so yes, Vedantu has uh, brought about their previous year questions. All of you know that one question that needs students search a lot is which book to you know, if I'm starting my preparation now, which book to use, what to do, where to go, all this. So, if you want all the 20 years question paper without missing one year also, then you have to buy this book. And now, you have offer, all the Vedantu Need English students have offer and it is at 899 on Amazon. Okay, the link is in the description box. If you click, you will get it for this price. For other people, it will be on a different price. Okay, it is all 20 years paper for physics, chemistry and bio. Keep this, it's a good thing. If you're a neat aspirant, I don't think spending on a good book will be a waste of time. Okay? Okay? <coughs> Lag is there. Lag. Okay? Okay, so 899, you'll get all the three books, Physics, Chemistry and Bio. And this is again, only an offer for Vedantu students, not for other students. For other students, the prices are going to be different. So the link is in the description box. You will get a code. With that code, you will get this three books for this price all 20 years compilation is there okay 20 years got it yes now i can give you a break how long you want a break kutti break we'll take not very big break okay kutti break now it is 11 52 chalo eight minutes break Okay, eight minutes break. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nidhi, you are already in Vedantu Neat English, so you are a part of Vedantu. We consider you a part of us, so it's fine. You can get it for the same price. Okay. Okay, take a break fast.
All of them come back, students. Then we'll start. Many of them left. Let them come back. Hello. Let them all come back. Yes, some are coming back. <laughs> okay. Yes, came back. Some of them are missing. Okay. So, now we'll do some all chapters round. So, what I've done, basically I've picked from all your years from 2023, 21. So, like that, I've just mixed all the chapters. Okay. So, you're going to do that. Ready? Chalo, let's start. So, match list 1 and list 2 is given. So, list 1 is P wave, Q wave, QRS complex and T wave. If you remember, this is from your ECG, body fluids and circulation. Right? Okay, body fluids and circulation. So, here you have to remember your wave. So, they are asking what are those waves talking about. All of you go back and open your notes, otherwise you will not remember this. Okay, you have to open your notes, otherwise you will not remember this. You have to know which is the beginning of the systole, repolarization, depolarization, Okay, which among this? Come on. Wait, let me share with my lazy people. Lazy people. Okay. Yes, which is the answer? 1 or D. Okay, let's see. P wave. Okay, P wave is going to be depolarization of atria. Correct. Q wave is going to be which? Beginning of the systole. QRS complex. QRS complex is definitely depolarization of the ventricles. T wave is going to be what? T wave is going to be repolarization of the ventricles. Yes? Those are all D. Wrong. Those are all 1. Correct. Okay, next one. List 1 is there. List 2 is there. Heroin, your uh, marijuana, cocaine and morphine is there. What are the activities of these people? What are the activities of pe these people? Effect on the cardiovascular system. Slows down body function. Painkiller. Interfere with transport of dopamine. Gives a fake happiness. Without even doing anything, you will get a fake happiness. Okay. Yes, thanks, Bunny. That fake happiness is because they interfere with the dopamine. Okay? They interfere with the dopamine. Who is the, who are those people? Come on, come on. Yes, A. Okay, let's see. Yes, very good. A is the answer, right? A, that is your heroin slows down the body function. Your B, it will affect the cardiovascular system. Cocaine, what is cocaine given as? Cocaine will interfere with the transport of the dopamine. That's why they feel that hey, fake happiness. Oh, I have achieved something in life. I did something big. They tell that, no. Morphine acts as a painkiller. Okay, next question. Match list 1 and list 2. So, all the match the following we are doing together. List 1, we have vasectomy, coitus interruptus, cervical caps and saheni. Okay, now you have to do the list 2. Oral method, barrier method, surgical method, method and natural method. Very easy question. Very, very easy question. Come on, all of you. Students, you did not share the link with your friends. I'm very disappointed and many of you did not come after break. This is why I don't give break. Such lazy people. They think questions will only come from molecular basis. No more breaks. Strictly no more breaks. Yes, B. Okay. Very good. Awesome. So, what's the answer? Vasectomy is definitely a surgical method. Coitus inter interruptus is a natural method. Okay. And cervical caps, again, a barrier method, Saheli oral method. Okay. Next one. 
question maths again maths the following ringworm filariasis malaria and pneumonia which among this okay ringworm you have to match with what are they causing what are they doing all that okay now ringworm is there filariasis is there malaria is there pneumonia is there I think malaria, you people pakka, filariasis pakka. I feel you will get confused with pneumonia and ringworm. Students, ringworm, do not forget epi, epiderma, trichophyton, which is that? Okay, which is that? B, you are telling answer for this one or the previous one? Answer for this one or the previous one? B, yeah? okay, chalo, let's see. A, okay, wait, wait, let me check. Yes, ringworm. Is caused by trichophyton. Okay, A2, correct. Filariasis, uh, Vutraria bancrofti, B3, correct. Malaria, Plasmodium vivax, C4, perfect. Option A is the one. Who told B? Stand up in the class. All of you stand wherever you are sitting, you stand there. Okay, all of them who told B. Now, ligaments are dense, irregular tissues. And statement 2 is cartilage is a dense, regular tissue. Okay, now the question is, in the light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the option given below. Okay, both statement 1 and 2 are uh, true, both statement 1 and 2 are false, both statement 1 and 2 true, true, false, false. Okay, tongue got twisted, right? Yes, which is the answer? B, 1. B, very good. That means both statement 1 and 2 are false. Ligaments are dense, irregular tissue. Cartilage is a dense, regular tissue. Both are wrong. Yes or no? Very good. B is the answer. Now, given below are two statements. In prokaryotes, the positively charged... Okay, this we did already. Yes? Yes. Which of the following techniques does not serve the purpose of early diagnosis of a disease for its early treatment? Which, of, which one of the following techniques does not okay does not serve your primary treatments okay recombinant dna technology serum and urine analysis pcr enzyme linked immunosorbent assay okay which among this will not serve the early treatment just by looking at this analysis most of the time you will not be able to identify anything normal things you'll be able to identify but not something big so which is that very good Urine and serum sample will not help in doing the early treatment, right? Early treatment. Next one. List one, type of joints. List two, found between. Where are they found? Okay. So, if you know this, you are sorted with your, the last paragraph of your uh, locomotion and movement. Okay. Most of the students get scared. How will the questions come? This is how the questions will come. Okay. This is how the questions will come. Let's see. Type of joint. Cartilaginous joint, ball and socket joint, fibrous joint and saddle joint, between flat skull bones, between adjacent vertebrates in the vertebral column, between carpal and metacarpal of the thumb, between humerus and pectoral girdle. Okay. So now open your notes and see what you have written. What you have written. Where are they coming in between? I'll try to make a way to remember this, but let's see. Okay. If possible, definitely I'll do. B, very good. B is the option, right? So, A is between your carpal and metacarpal, right? And ball and socket will be where? Obviously, between humerus and pectoral girdle. Then, fibrous joint will be where, students? Between your flat skull bones and saddle joint will be between the adjacent vertebrae in the vertebral column, okay? Next, which of the following common sexually transmitted disease is completely curable when detected early and treated properly, okay? Which among these can be treated if we have already recognized it at the early stage, okay? Quickly. B, okay. Hello, let's see. Yes, very good. B is the answer, right? Gonorrhea can be the one which can be detected at the early stage. And because we are detecting at the early stage, we'll be able to cure it also faster. Okay. In which blood corpuscles the HIV undergoes 
replication and produces progeny viruses. Okay, you know that HIV will, will only affect three cells. Macrophages, T cells and dendritic cells. In that macrophages are the factory of HIV. In T cells, if it enters, it will make sure that the T cells dies. Right, so which is the answer? In which blood corpuscles the HIV undergoes replication and produces progeny virus. Okay, there is only one option. Blindly answer that. Blindly answer that. Go for it. Yes, awesome. A is the answer. T helper cells or your T cells. Okay. Now, which of the following statements are correct? Basophils are most abundant cells of the total WBCs. Basophils secrete histamine, serotonin and heparin. Basophils are involved in inflammatory response. Basophils have kidney-shaped nucleus. Basophils are a granulocytes. Okay. Which among this is the correct option for your basophils? Okay, which is the correct option for your basophils? Come on, all of you. Yes, C. Okay, okay. Good job. B and C only. Correct, no? Basophil secrete. So, which of the following statements are correct? Basophil secrete histamine, serotonin and heparin. Okay. Other than that, which is correct? Your basophils are involved in inflammatory response. Okay. Good job. Now, in cockroach, excretion is brought about. 2023 question. Okay. In cockroach, excretion is brought about by which among this? Okay. Phallic gland, urocose gland, nephrocytes, fat body or collateral glands. Choose the correct answer from the given option. Students, very recent question. Same question can come this time also. Okay. Some questions will be turned here and there and maybe same question will come because a uh, lot of stress has been given to cockroach and frog because multiple times they change the question. No. That's the reason. All of you, tell the answer. Which among this excretion is brought about with the help of which among this? B, C, okay, many multiple options. 3, C, that is C, okay, B, C, D. Uricose gland, okay. Nephrocytes, okay. Fat bodies, okay. Let's see. Very good. Correct, no? Uricose gland, the terms itself. You have heard these terms before, Uriclo uricose gland, nephrocytes and fat body. These terms are very easily, you know, you can remember the term. Oh, so many of you marked your attendance without me telling. Proud of you students, proud of you from not being conjuice. Yes, what's the answer? C, D. C or D? C, let's see why C. Mast cells has areolar connective tissue, okay. B, that is your inner surface of bronchi, will definitely have cuboidal epithelium. Blood, blood will have specialized connective tissue. Tubular parts of the nephron will have ciliated epithelium. Any doubts in this? Any doubts in this? Three, right? Tubular, wait one second, did I do wrong? D will have cuboidal epithelium. B will have ciliated. Oh yeah, I drew it wrong. Okay, mast cells will have what students? I'll write it this side. This crossing is very difficult. Mast cells will have areolar tissue, that is A. Okay, and then inner surface of your bronchi, bronchioles will have ciliated epithelium because it has to move the air and filter the air. Okay, B. Then we have blood. Blood will have which kind of epithelium? Blood will definitely have your specialized connective tissue. And last is your tubular parts of nephron will have cuboidal epithelium all of you remember when i drew dct i drew cuboidal epithelium yes okay fine now which of the following is a characteristic feature of cockroach regarding sexual dimorphism boys show style girls show less style so what is the answer less style boys show style so dark brown body color and anal serai presence of anal style presence of sclerates presence of anal serai Everyone will remember faster. Come on. Why are you people crying, students? One question went wrong. That's why.
Yes. What is the answer? Presence of anal style. Boys show more style. Girls does not show style. Okay. Yes. Now, big statement. Which of the following statements are correct regarding skeletal muscles? Okay. First, muscle bundles are held together by collagenous connective tissue layer called fasciculi. Now, uh, carp, uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum of muscle fibers is a storehouse of calcium ions. Striated appearance of skeletal muscle fiber is due to the distribution pattern of actin and myosin protein. M line is considered as functional unit of contraction called sarcomere. Okay, all these terms, if you have learned, okay, your uh, properly, if you would have understood your locomotion, you would be able to answer. If you have not understood that well, then this might be a little tricky. So let's see, muscle fibers, all of you remember, muscle fibers are held together with something here. Okay, and then sarcoplasmic reticulum of muscle fibers is a storehouse of calcium. Okay, yes, we remember sarcoplasmic tubular system. When calcium is released, NA influx will happen. Because of that, the actin, on the actin, the myosin binding site will be visible. All of you remember that? Then, okay, most of you don't answer. Let's see. Very good. A, B and C only, right? Which of the following statement is correct? Muscle bundles correct, sarcoplasmic reticulum correct, striated appearance correct. M line is considered as a functional unit of contraction. No, Z line. Z line. This zigzag line is the one that keeps coming front, right? It, which will move forward and backward. So, Z line is considered as a functional line of contraction. Okay? Yes, muscle fibers, muscle bundles. Now, identify the microorganism which is responsible for the production of immunosuppressive suppressive molecule cyclosporin A. This question is repeated many times. So, this one and students, again, one more question which is repeated where, uh, a lot of time is from microbes. Butyric acid, acetic acid, how is it formed, who is forming, that question is asked a lot of times. Okay? Why are people putting sad emoji? Yes. What's the answer? Easy. Trichoderma polysporum. Why are you people telling aspergillus nigger? Students, what is wrong? Aspergillus niggers will release cyclosporin, eh? Heart attack will come off. Trichoderma polysporum, okay? Yes. Tegmina in cockroach arises from, that means one of the wing's name, right? Tegmina is the name of the wing. All of you remember which is the wing, okay? Tegmina in cockroach arises from which among this? Okay, we know that prothorax does not give rise to any wings. Mesothorax give rise, metathorax give rise to something. So, you should be very specific. Tegmina in cockroach arises from. That means your wings arises from. Okay. Yes. Very good. Mesothorax, because we know from the mesothorax only your four wings are coming, right? It's giving rise. So that, yes, B for biology. Okay, mesothorax. Next one. Which of the following is a correct match for the disease and its symptoms? Okay. Arthritis, inflamed joints. Tetany, high calcium level causing rapid spasm. Myasthenia gravis, genetic disorder resulting in weakening and paralysis of the skeletal muscle. Muscular dystrophy and autoimmune disorder causing progressive degeneration of skeletal muscles. So, which among this is correct match? Correct match only you have to tell, not the wrong match. Okay. Arthritis, inflamed joints, tetany, high calcium level causing rapid spasm, myasthenia gravis, autoimmune disease, genetic disorder resulting in weakening and paralysis, muscular dystrophy and autoimmune disorder causing progressive degeneration of skeletal muscles. Okay, chalo, all of you, did you all mark your attendance, those who joined right now? A is the answer, C is the answer, so many answers are coming. Let's see, let's see what's the answer. A, yes, A for AIMS. Okay, A for AIMS. Which of the following is a correct match? Arthritis, inflamed joints. Correct, yes or no? Okay, so, next one. 
autoimmune disorder is a condition. Students, any doubts in this? No, right? This is a direct question. You, if you know the box there, you will be able to write this direct question. There is no rocket science. No rocket science, direct question. Now, autoimmune disorder is a condition where the body defense mechanism recognizes its own cells as foreign bodies. Yes, correct. Rheumatoid arthritis is a condition where the body does not attack cell cells. In the light of the above statement, choose the most appropriate. Blindly, blindly you can write the answer for this, right? Because we all know autoimmune disease means they are, we recognize our own people as the enemy, okay? If you start fighting with your family every day, then it becomes what? You become your own enemy, like in the home. Same way autoimmune disease. Our self cells will be considered as foreign cells. But there is a catch. There is a catch. What is the catch? Rheumatoid arthritis is not an autoimmune disease they are telling. But is it right or wrong? Statement 1 is correct, but statement 2 is incorrect. Yes or no? Rheumatoid arthritis is one of the very common example for autoimmune diseases. In this condition, what happens? Cell cells are damaged. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, which one did you people tell you? One. -er. Students, both statement 1 and 2 is correct. How come? Impossible. How is rheumatoid arthritis not an autoimmune disease? Please read the option correctly. Okay? I think most of you did not read this. Body does not attack the self cell. Body does attack the self cell. Okay? Fine. No problem. Mistakes happen. You are practicing. You are not thorough. It's not like tomorrow is the exam and today you are doing mistakes. Right? Okay. Lippies loop is a type of contraceptive used as. Okay. Lippies loop is a contraceptive which is used as cervical barriers, vault barriers, non-mediated IUDs and copper releasing IUDs. Which among this? Which among this? Come on, all of you. Which among this? C. Very good. Non-mediated IUDs, right? Lippies loop is a type of contraceptive which is not belonging to your normal barrier method, nor your vault barrier, nor your copper releasing IUDs. It's a non-mediated IUD. Okay, next one. Match list 1 with list 2 with uh, respect. Okay, just match this, okay? We have uh, dif diaphragms, uh, contraception, pills, intrauterine devices and lactational amenorrhea. You have to match them. You have to match them, okay? If the options are not visible, I'll be zooming the options if you want. Hello, zoom, zoom. This is the options. But I think otherwise also is visible, no? Visible, right, students? Do I have to zoom again, no, right? A, D, so many answers you people are telling. You always make me confused, is it? Chalo, let's see. B, did anyone tell B? B for biology. Okay, Rag Raghavi told B, right? Raghavi told B. Okay, students, what is B? Diaphragms, what are they? Inhibit ovulation, implantation, increase phagocytosis of sperm, pills, uterus, absence of menstrual cycle and ovulation, following parturition, they cover the cervical blocking the entry of sperm. So, we know that this has to be this. Oh, why is this not working? This is this. Okay. Then B is what? Contraception inhibits ovulation and implantation. Then C. One second. Did I miss something? A, B, C, D. Correct, no? I don't know from where this pills came, students. One second, I'm figuring it out, okay. Intrauterine device, okay, that is in increase the phagocytosis of sperm, perfect. Absence of menstrual cycle, ovulation followed by parturition, D, right? D is 3, correct, no? Pills and uterus, I don't know from where did I get it. Okay, no problem, but you people got it right. Select the incorrect statement with respect to acquired immunity. Human health and diseases, some questions are coming. Acquired immunity. Primary response is produced when our body encounters a pathogen for the first time. Okay. 
हाँ कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन पिल्स नो दैट्स वॉट आई एम थिंकिंग वेर दिस वॉट एपन नो वेन आई क्रॉप दिस दिस टू आई डिड नॉट फ्यूज टूगेदर सो कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन पिल्स एंड इंक्रीज फैगोसाइटोसिस थैंक यू मधुमिता समटाइम्स ब्रेन विल नॉट ब्रेन ओके सो येस प्राइमरी रेस्पॉन्स इज प्रोड्यूस वेन आर बॉडी एनकाउंटर्स अ पैथोजन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम so what is it select the incorrect statement okay incorrect statement let me highlight this word incorrect statement tell me the answer yeah yeah i got it thank you janani jalisa all of you yes c c did you say the answer very good sangeeta d acquired immunity is a non specific type of defense present at the time of birth or innate immunity is during the birth right so select the incorrect statement innate immunity is the one who is present with us from the birth acquired immunity is a very specific immunity now if i have got um let's say pneumonia or chicken pox next time it comes my body will already be recognized first if my body is using 1 lakh people to fight that next time my body will use only 10 people to fight that or 1000 people to fight that that is so specific right so this is the wrong statement okay good job now which one of the following statement is correct correct okay the atrioventricular node okay generates an action potential to stimulate atrial contraction the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves open due to the pressure exerted simultaneously contraction of the atria blood moves freely from atrium to the ventricle during joint diastole increased ventricular pressure causes clo closing of semi luna valves students are you eating lunch or anything by any chance because i see many of them have stopped responding are you eating lunch because i gave a break now i cannot give a break so i'll finish it faster okay we'll do as many questions as possible and then we will stop and then we will continue maybe one more day we will have to take the series because i feel lot of questions are still left yes pdf will be given on the telegram not today but after some time definitely will be given okay not eating lunch no please just let me know okay otherwise i will not know yeah which one of the following statement is correct blood moves freely from the atrium to the ventricle during the joint diastole why we are telling them please relax bro Re relax right please relax so that time what will happen blood will freely move okay blood will freely move yes c for capto now look here similar kind of questions uh, valves iud's vasectomy tubectomy same thing no no little different okay students so, this is a question from your okay Yes. What is the answer for this? Walls, IUDs, vasectomy, tubectomy. Easy question again. Very very easy. Very very easy. Yes. D. I think people are people are still trying to find. Uh, yeah. Raghavi. Good job. D. Right. What is D? A is for IUDs, vasectomy. tubectomy correct option is correct no yes okay chronic autoimmune disorder affecting neuromuscular junction leading to fatigue weakening and paralysis of the skeletal muscle is called as chronic autoimmune disorder affecting neuromuscular joints okay leading to weakening or paralysis just now we saw what is that disease called as okay myasthenia gravis gout arthritis muscular dystrophy this to my students know come on my neat students should know this yes very good very good faster answer should come faster yes very good myasthenia gravis is a disease where slowly you start your skeletal muscles start paralyzing right your muscles start paralyzing and you will not be able to move some people get it after a heart attack some people get it just like that some people after they would have even done you know they would have cleared all the blocks in the heart there are a lot of people who have got myasthenia gravis it could be because of multiple reasons okay it need not be only myasthenia gravis it could be followed by some other disease also okay chalo next one 
Which one of the following is an example of hormone releasing IUDs? Very easy. Hormone releasing IUDs, CU7, multi-load 375 and CUT. You know that all these three are IUTs, intrauterine devices, IUDs, okay, which releases copper. And the only one, I had given this example also in the class, LNG20. Remember? Example for hormone releasing IUDs. Which is the answer? Yes, very good. D is the answer, right? Um, D is the answer, your LNG20. Yes, good job, good job. Now, which one of the following characteristic is incorrect with respect to cockroach? Students, actually, I noticed that frog questions are a little less, but, you know, uh, what did I tell? Cockroach questions are a little more, if you notice generally. So, yes, we have focused a lot on cockroach. If you notice my video, first I did cockroach very slowly. I made you understand everything. Frog, I did a little more fast with NCRT line. So, focus on, because frog is very related to humans and like, in a sense, related to sense, not like our uh, ancestors or someone. But I'm telling a lot of things, connection is there. So, cockroach questions can come more. Okay, so look at the questions and tell me the answer. Uday Baskar has told D, Raghavi has told C, Aravind has told D. Let's see what's the answer. C is the answer. C is the answer. Okay, why is it? What is it? Which of the following characteristic is incorrect with respect to cockroach? A ring of gastric CK is present at the junction of the midgut and the hindgut. So, is this right or wrong? Is incorrect with respect to cockroach. In female, 7th and the 9th turn are together, correct. 10th abdominal segment in both the sexes bear, correct. Hyperpharynx lie within the cavity enclosed by the mouth parts. Don't you think that is the wrong one? Okay. A ring of gastric CK, hepatic CK. Hepatic CK is there, not gastric CK. Right? Hepatic CK is there. Remember that uh, flower-like structure? Like this, some structure is there, no? Hepatic CK. So, students, once kutti word changed, we'll get confused, right? Now, erythropoietin hormone which stimulates RBC formation. That means erythropoiesis, erythropoiesis produced by which among these cells? Very nice question because this is connected to your chemical coordination, body fluid and circulation. So, this question you should know. Yes, very good. Hepatic CK. Right? Erythropoietin hormone which stimulates RBC formation is produced by cells of the bone marrow, juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney, alpha cells of the pancreas, cells of the adenohypophysis, neurohypophysis, adenohypophysis. All of you know this? JG, JG. Juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney helps in erythropoiesis. Okay, erythropoiesis. Poises. I can see a lot of them are joining, but not marking attendance, not, not marking attendance, okay? Yes, next one. So, in this question, let me tell you, just by heart this, just like that, almost three years, this question has come over and over again in a different pattern, okay? In a different pattern, yes. JG cells are a modification of your efferent arterioles. Beautifully, I have explained in excretion. Anyone who has doubt with your RAS mechanism or uh, this your glomerular, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Okay, glomerulation, glomerular filtrate, all that, check excretion chapter. Okay, chalo, look here. Which is this one? Yes, yes, good job. C is the answer, right? Aspergillus nigger will form your citric acid. Okay, acetobacter aceti, acetic acid. Butylitum, butyric acid, lactobacillus, lactic acid. Only doubt, only confusion you might go is nigger. Okay, nigger you will get confused. Okay, so that is the only thing you will get confused. Otherwise, everything has a touch of what they are forming. Very important question. Now, scapula, cranium, sternum, vertebral column. Cartilaginous joint, flat bones, fibrous joint, triangular, flat bones. Okay. You know the only one which is a triangular flat bone. Where is it present? Yes. Triangular flat bone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster. Scapula. Yes. A. Then cranium. 
ए फोर करेक्ट यस क्रेनियम थ्री बी यस वेरी गुड सी क्रेनियम विल बी दिस स्टर्नम वी हैव स्टर्नम इज योर फ्लैट बोन वर्टिब्रल कॉलम कार्टिलेजनस जॉइंट ओके स्टूडेंट स्टर्नम वॉट इज शेप ऑफ स्टर्नम लाइक अ टाई लाइक अ टाई राइट अ टाई लाइक दिस फ्रॉम योर ऑल योर कनेक्शन इज देर राइट ना नेक्स्ट वन ड्यूरिंग द मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इवेंट्स अक अगेन दिस ऑल्सो आई मेड आई मेड यू राइट इन अ स्मॉल बोन ओके yeah okay fine yes students look here during the muscular contraction which of the following events occur head zone disappears a band widens i band reduces myosin hydrolyzes atp releasing the adp and pi z lines attached to actin are pulled inwards okay so many things they are asking let's go one by one choose the correct answer okay h zone disappears h zone where the myosin is there the middle zone a band widens i band reduces in width myosin hydrolyzes atp releasing adp and pi sliding filament theory z lines attached to the actins are pulled inwards one to is correct now tell me about others c a c d e okay yes correct why is it correct see look here A band is the band that will not move. A band has already told in the starting only whatever happens, I will not move. Did A band tell that or not? Yes or no? So during muscle contraction, which of the following events again this will not occur because A band has very strictly told even if earthquake is happening, I am not going to move from my place. You people do the adjustments that is required. So what are the other adjustments happening? Head zone will disappear. Because here, as soon as the movement happens, the middle zone, right? Head zone will disappear. Then, I band reduces in width. Correct. Myosin. This this is happening why? Because actin and myosin has to bind to form a cross bridge, right? Cross bridge. And then power stroke will happen. Then only muscle contraction will happen, right? Then last one is Z line attaches to actin are pulled inwards. Z line will definitely move inwards. Now, purin found. in dna and rna okay purin found in dna and rna art i found this question very interesting because everyone keeps asking about the pyrimidines and no one ask about the purins now what students will do you know they'll use their brains extra part of the brain okay seventh sense eighth sense they'll be like oh uracil is pyrimidine that means i have to mark which one do i mark should i mark thymine so this is the confusion but it's a very easy question Yes, cross bridge. Very easy question. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, students. So this is the catch. The catch is simple. Students will use the seventh sense, eighth sense, ninth sense, which they are not supposed to use daily. That sense they will use, and they'll be like, okay, wait a minute. Maybe thymine is there. Uracil is there. No, replaced. So I'll do one thing. I'll put adenine and thymine. Wrong. This is how people lose marks. It's not some rocket science, but people use unnecessary senses of their brain and make mistake. Okay. Now, which of the following can be used as a biocontrol agent in treatment of plant disease? Biocontrol agent, okay? Biocontrol agent, yes, pure as gold, perfect. Which of the following can be used as a biocontrol agent in treatment of plant disease? The answer is only one. So, come on, all of you. Students are just like you know they visit uh, zoo and all. No, they're coming, going, coming, going. Lag is there? No, no. I've stopped the video. Yes, awesome. Trichoderma. That's the only one who is going to help as a biocontrol agent. Okay, next one. Colostrum, the yellowish fluid secreted by the mother during the initial days of lactation, is very essential to impart immunity. to the newborn infants because it contains okay what does this colostrum contain that will actually help the newborn babies okay that will actually help the newborn baby natural killer cells monocytes macrophages immunoglobulin a okay or your ig 
A. All of you know this answer very easy. I told the answer also. Yes, correct. IgA is the one that is present in the cholesterol. And next question to all of you. Is it an active? Is it active or passive? Is it natural or artificial? This question also will be asked in your PYQ. So answer me now itself. What if 2024 question is this? Is it active or passive? Is it natural or artificial? You can tell me ma'am it is active, natural or is passive, natural, whatever. You can tell the whole thing. But tell me the answer for this all of you. What if this question comes this year? We have to be prepared, no? Okay, passive. Passive, natural, awesome. Subhashni, Bhavana, yes. Passive, natural, Rakesh. So many names are moving, so I can't see. Janani, Roslin, Rani, Vaishnavi, Kannaya. Yes, very good. It is passive because it is coming from some other person. It's coming as ready-made. From the mother, it's coming ready made. But it is not artificial. Why it's not artificial? Because we are not injecting anything to the mother. Naturally, during the pregnancy stage itself, this is already formed. That the mother is already preparing. So, it is natural. This question can come. Okay. I hope this question comes. Now, select the correct sequence of transport of sperm cells in male reproductive system. Okay. Which is the correct order of the sperm cells transferring. Okay. In the male reproductive system since na if natural killer cells is there in the cholesterol of the mother i don't know what will happen okay i don't know how you people think so out of the box all of you read this option <laughs> yes b two okay b Yes, correct, right? Seminiferous tubules, retate testis, vasa efferentia, epididymis, vasa deferens, ejaculatory tract, urethra, your urethral opening. Okay, do not look at this urethral mitris. What is that? Do not worry. Some fancy word and all they've used. Nothing, students. Your urethral opening, right? Urethral opening. Okay, yes, fine. Which part of the brain is responsible for thermoregulation? Okay, that means controlling the temperature. Thermoregulation is by which part of the brain? Which part of the brain? Yes, all of you. Which part of the brain is helping in thermoregulation? <coughs> D. D. B. A, B, C, D, full in there, Okay, okay, let's see. Very good. Hypothalamus is the head principal of your college. Whatever your teachers are doing in the campus, principal will get to know. Whatever your teachers are coming and telling you in the class, that also principal only told. Okay? Yes. So, hypothalamus is the person. Now, which of the following pair of organelles does not contain DNA? Very baby question. You would have studied this in your 10th and all that. Which of the ones does not contain DNA? Okay? Yes, hypothalamus. Correct? No, hypothalamus. Yeah. Yes, hypothalamus. Did I tell something wrong? So, in some time, knowing, unknowingly, you know, some, some things come in the mouth. Like, I don't know, last time I was telling, I think, I was telling, I, in my head, it was megasporogenesis. But in my mouth, it was microsporogenesis. So, I kept telling microsporogenesis. Later, I went and watched the video and I was like, oh, yo, I'm telling microsporogenesis instead of megasporogenesis. Okay, sometimes like that, it happens because we are talking continuously and we are talking to camera, walls and AC and everyone. No? So, it sometimes feels like, okay, whom am I talking to? Only when your chats are moving, we get that energy. When we see the likes, we get that energy. Otherwise, we are just talking to walls. Yes, what is the answer? Lysozyme and vacuoles. Awesome. Good job. Which of the following factors is responsible for the formation of concentrated urine? Okay, which of the following is the example for, I mean, formation of concentrated use, urine? Okay, low levels of antidiuretic hormone, maintaining hyperosmolarity towards inner medullary interstitium in the kidney, 
secretion of erythropoietin by juxta medullary complex, hydrostatic pressure during glomerular filtration. Which of the following factors is responsible? That means which is correct, which is the most appropriate. Okay, which is the most appropriate? I think people didn't tell the answer. I showed off the answer. Sorry, students. Maintaining hyperosmolarity towards the inner medullary interstitium. All of you remember? Your last thing we did was urea and sodium. Increasing the urea and sodium in the intermedullary uh, liquid. Remember all of you? That method where, you know, your counter mechanism comes and where, you know, your urea and sodium will be taken, water will be reabsorbed. So, what is it? So, factor responsible for the formation of concentrated urine. So, we'll take water, reabsorb water. All that is because of maintaining hyperosmolarity. Okay? That means if, if we increase the sodium content, then water reabsorption also will automatically happen. That's all. Okay? Next one. Which of the following feature of the genetic code does allow bacteria to produce human insulin by recombination DNA technology? This is biotechnology. Sir will take biotechnology, but I put one question because it's very similar to uh, molecular basis of inheritance. Okay? Yes. Sir will take biotechnology, do not worry, and principles of inheritance. Think of the answer which would be helping. I don't know, Bunny. I don't know the answer for that. Okay? Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. So, yeah. It's up to all of you. I find people beautiful because then their personality is beautiful. So, it's up to you. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't spam, yaar. Mama, mama, mama. Okay. Students, tell the answer. Okay, what's the answer? Genetic code is nearly universal. See, what is the reason why the feature of genetic code does allow bacteria to produce human insulin? It is a bacteria at the end of the day. How is it able to produce human insulin by recombination technology? Because genetic code is ultimately universal. Okay? Yes. Oh, oh I showed the answer. Oh, no, this is only answer, huh? Okay. Variation caused by mutation as proposed by Hugo D. Varies. Again, very important question. Different, different technique they will ask. Yes, different, different technique they will ask. Madam, important questions though. Botany. Botany will happen after some time. At 5 o'clock, botany will start. Okay. Yes, all of them have come after lunch. I'm so happy. Chalo, chalo. Come on, let's continue. The Josh should not decrease, yaar. Come on, what is this? Such a young age, you people are so tired. So tired, so conjuice, so bunking classes. Uh, see, old NCRT, new NCRT conversation is almost done. You can follow new NCRT, but there are some topics that you need to go back to old NCRT and read. But otherwise, whatever you have, just keep it with you. Do not go like, do not tell your parents that I need the old NCRT itself. Do not do all that. Because whatever is important, we teachers are telling in the class. If there are small, small changes, that is also already mentioned. Okay? Yes. What is the answer, students? Random and directionless. This was one thing that Hugo the Varies hit the spot. Yes. Wow. He told that. Okay. Now, uh, select the correct option. Did I put the option? Oh, sorry, sorry. I showed the answer. You did not see the answer, I hope, students. Okay. Eighth, ninth, and the tenth pair of ribs articulate directly with the sternum. Galat. Eleventh and the twelfth pairs of ribs are connected to the sternum with the help of hyaline cartilage. Oh, -ho. each rib is a flat, thin bone, and all the ribs are connected dorsally to the thoracic vertebrae and ventrally to the sternum. There are seven pairs of vertebrosternal. 3 pairs of vertebral contral and 2 pairs of vertebral ribs. Don't go 
I, I mentioned you true ribs, false ribs, floating ribs, other names for that. This is how they make you tricky, okay? You people saw? That is not fair, you are not supposed to see. Students, after Ramayana, you are asking who is Rama. When student is asking, is this useful for need? Then PYQs are useful for what? Writing board exam. Yeah, you people make me really angry. Full Ramayana, I am telling from starting of the class and they are asking me, ma'am, who is Rama? Is Rama Sita sister? What should I do with you people? <laughs> huh, thank you, thank you, RK. RK, thank you. Okay, done? Any more doubts you have? Ma'am, are you teaching for need? Is this zoology? Are you Gopika, ma'am? Do you have any more very nice doubts? Okay, nice doubts you have. Tell. Okay, done. There are seven pairs of vertebrosternal ribs. That means your true ribs. And three pairs of vertebrochondrial ribs. That is your uh, false ribs. And last is your pairs of vertebral ribs. Your floating ribs. Okay floating ribs. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> this is what I get at the end of the day after making this PPT till 3 o'clock in the morning. They are asking me, ma'am, are you actually doing it for need? Or you are chumma doing time pass because you have a lot of time in your day, you know, to sit till 3 o'clock and not sleep and just come and do classes. <laughs> what do I tell you? People tell me. If you were in my position, what would you tell? Okay. Which of the following contraceptive methods do involve a role of hormones? Okay. Which one will do? <laughs> Three, yeah? which one? Each rib is a flat thin bone. All the ribs, all the ribs are connected. No, see, all the ribs are connected to thoracic vertebrae. Yes. But not all the ribs are connected to the sternum. There are floating ribs and there are uh, ribs which are connected to the seventh vertebral column, not directly. That is why this is wrong. Who asked me the question? Okay. Monica, this, that is why this is wrong. Okay. Yes. Now, which of the following is correct? All of you. Which is, which is correct? Which of the following contraceptive methods do not involve the role of hormones? That means what? Barrier method, all that simple, simple things, no? So the answer will be what? Lactational amenorrhea, pills, emergency contraceptives. One minute. Pills, emergency contraceptives. Yes, they do not have hormone, no role of hormone. Students, is there any more close one? Pills, emergency contraceptive, barrier methods. Barrier method, lactation, amenorrhea, pills. CUT, pills, emergency contraceptive. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, got it. One. Good job. Drugs called heroin is synthesized by. Very easy question. Heroin is synthesized by. Okay. Do involve a, do involve a, yeah, that is what, do involve a role of hormones. Sorry, students, that's why I'm looking at this option. I'm like, what is wrong with this option? Do involve, I read, do not involve. Then none of that would come, only barrier methods, okay? Yes, yes, do involve. Yeah, one only, but do involve was the thing, okay? Do involve was the thing, that's all. Drugs called heroin is synthesized in, yes, very good, acetylation of morphine. Acetylation of morphine leads to the formation of heroin. Do you guys have any idea how many questions we have done? Anyone has any idea how many questions we have done? Yes, no. You have idea? Okay, let's see. In a species, the weight of newborn ranges from 2 to 5 kg. 
ओके न्यू बॉर्न बेबीज आर टू टू फाइव के जी नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द न्यू बॉर्न विथ एन एवरेज वेट बिटवीन थ्री टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री के जी सर्वाइव दे सर्वाइव ओके वेर एज नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ इनवॉन्स इन इनफेंट बॉर्न विद द वेट फ्रॉम टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव के जी और फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव के जी स्टूडेंट वेरी इजी Consider this two as extremes. These two are extremes, like how you have short and tall. So this is underweight. This is overweight. Okay, die. Which type of selection process is taking place? So if natural selection happens, ninety-five percent or ninety-seven percent is coming in this medium range. Two extremes also is dying. So which one will you use? Which one will you use? Come on. No, no. We did more than hundred. We have crossed hundred long back. If people didn't even realize that we have crossed hundred, we are doing from three two and a half hours. Yes. Don't know. Don't know. You did not watch my class. That's why you don't know. Okay, listen here. This is the range. So three to three point five becomes medium. Two to two point five you consider as short. Okay, extreme. Four to four point five you consider like tall. Another one extreme. So if natural selection is happening and selecting medium. Okay, ninety-seven percent survival rate. Then it will be stabilizing graph. Simple, right? So it will be stabilizing selection. So whenever there is a medium selection, okay, imagine tall, six feet guy is there, three feet girl is there. I am in five feet. I will get selected. Or ninety-five percent natural selection is happening for five feet, five point five feet, five point six feet. That means. medium is continuously increasing we have selected an average whenever you select an average it will be stabilizing okay but in case natural selection happened with 6 feet people or 6.2 feet people that will become directional okay directional short person direction always medium okay medium <laughs> yes now due to increasing airborne allergens and pollutants many people in urban areas are suffering from respiratory disorders causing wheezing due to okay <laughs> tell me due to increasing airborne allergens and pollutants many people in urban areas are suffering from respiratory disorders causing wheezing due to benign growth of mucus lining of the nasal cavity inflammation proliferation of the fibrous tissue and damage of alveolar walls reduction in the secretion of surfactants by pneumocytes pneumocytes yes attendance is not increasing attendance has to increase okay let's keep a target can we get 400 likes before i end the session 400 likes possible is it possible by my students 400 easy number 400 okay two Let's see. Very good. Inflammation of bronchi and bronchioles. When inflammation happens, that is because of the accumulation or because of air pollution. This is what people of Delhi is facing. Very soon, people of Bangalore also will be facing. Okay, very soon, people of Bangalore also will be facing. Now, the ciliated epithelial cells. The ciliated epithelial cells are required to move particles or mucus in a specific direction. In humans, these cells are mainly present in. What did they say? the ciliated epithelial cells are required to move particles that means hair like structures to move particles or mucus in a specific direction in humans these cells are present where so when we spoke about ciliated movement we spoke about this okay <clears throat> yes <laughs> come on all of you nothing is impossible okay nancy is being very positive let's see 400 if it's possible then uh, I'll do more such sessions. If four hundred is not possible, then I'll be very sad. Then I'll always think that my students are conjuice. Okay, I'll never think that you people are open-hearted, wide-hearted people. Chalo, chalo. No, no. Nitin, ready? Don't worry. This questions will not come in need. I'm doing too much time pass. So much time I have in my day, so I'm doing time pass. Huh. <laughs>
Sweden, what am I supposed to do? Okay, the ciliated epithelium are required to move particles or mucus in a specific direction in humans. These cells are mainly present in bronchioles and fallopian tubules. Correct? Yes. Now, what would what would be the heart rate of a person if the cardiac output is five liters? Blood volume in the ventricles at the end of the diastole is 100 ml and at the end of the ventricular systole is 50 ml. Oh my god, maths. Yeah, I, it's, be, it's because I started seeing this um, too much Instagram students. Okay, too much Instagram. Full duk, dard. I know I'm learning a lot of languages, but the thing is, when I try to talk Tamil or Telugu, no slang comes very wrong. Hindi, little more it comes. Like, because I talk to all these venters and uh, the Uber people, no? Now I've learned little Hindi. You people are laughing at my situation, no? One day I hope you're also in this situation, okay? I hope you're also in this situation one day. What is the answer? Two, B. You people know very, very good at laughing at my situation when some students are asking such questions instead of you people answering. Two, huh? Three. Maths, yaar. Maths is the problem. What would be the heart rate of a person if the cardiac output is 5 liters? Okay. Okay, it's simple. 500 ml, right? We have... So, this 5 liters, let's convert it to... 500 ml. First thing, simple maths. First, we'll make all of them into same SI units. Simple maths students. Then we have 100 ml and 50 ml, right? So, then that will be divided. 100 ml and 50 ml. Here they're telling at the end of the ventricular system, it'll be 50 ml. 100 is the answer. That's all. See, simple maths, I told you, no? So, how do you do? You can do it two ways. Stroke volume is 100 ml. So, you can do it this way, students. Stroke volume is 100 ml. 100 minus 50 ml will give us 50 ml. Correct? This 50 ml, you will divide by the total cardiac output. 5 liters, you will convert it to ml. That is 500 ml. So, here we have got the volume. Not this 50. Don't use this 50 to divide. That 5000 ml by 50 will be 100 beats per minute. Did you understand? Oh my god, what is happening in the chat box? Yes, students understood? Simple maths only. We have to calculate the stroke volume. So, we have here diastole volume, we have systole volume. So, so how will you calculate stroke volume? This diastole minus systole, 50 ml. Then they are telling cardiac output, full total cardiac output is 5, five liters. That you converted into ml, 5000 ml. 5000 divided by your stroke volume will give you the uh, how many beats are there. Clear? That is how you calculate the heart rate. I hope that is clear. Next one. Match the following. This we did know. No need this question. Next question. Select the correct sequence of organs in the alimentary canal of cockroach starting from mouth. Mouth. Mouth onwards. Why do people in every class ask me to talk in all the languages? Tamil. I'll tell Tamil. Epidi rikinge, saukyama, sapitingla, 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 I guess. Then... Uh, uh, so much Vijay movie and Surya movie I watch for nothing students I know that dialogue of Vijay I am waiting that's all I know from the movie uh, I'll tell you by then you people do this question let me think of the some Tamil words Epidi irikinge saukyama romba nala achu unna paathu saapitingala yeah see saapitingala correct I told Ah, Vanakam. Vanakam is very easy, you know. People have got bored with Vanakam. Uh, that's all I know, students. <laughs> yes, I'm trying all the languages, okay? Thank you, RK. Love status. Vava. Chumma meaning is simply. That is in Malayalam also, Chumma meaning is the same only. Chumma means simply. Simply. Okay? Yes. Let's come back to the class. Okay, this is done. Done, done. 
We took a break. I was just talking so that you people do not get bored. We were like, oh, how long this ma'am is doing? Pharynx, esophagus, crop, gizzard, ileum, colon, rectum. Okay? This is the order. Crop, gizzard. Crop after gizzard. Crop after gizzard. Okay? Yes, English is better. English is smooth. I feel like I'm sweating after telling this. Okay? Tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume of an athlete is 500 ml and 1000 ml respectively. What will be his expiratory capacity if the residual volume is 100 and, uh, 1200? Okay, 1200. Okay. <laughs> yes. Tell all of you. <laughs> all of you tell fast. Listen, tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume of an athlete is 500 ml and 100,000 ml, okay, respectively. What will be his expiratory capacity if the residual volume is this? So, what are you going to find? You have to find the EC. You have to find EC. How will you find EC? All of you in the chats, how will you find EC? EC formula I want. Yeah, answer is correct. I want, okay, EC formula. <laughs> Sorry, students. Yes, no one is telling. EC formula will be what? TV plus ERV. Am I right or wrong? So, e how much is TV tidal volume? Yes, correct. Very good. TV plus ERV. So, it will be how much? 1500. This 500 ml and 1000 ml. This one? They have just given to mislead us. Because when we see this, no, we'll be like, oh, wait, residual volume also is there. But we know that uh, capacity, when we're calculating capacity, it is only our reserve volume and tidal volume. That's all, no? So that is just to confuse us, okay? Do not get it confused, okay? Now, which of the following is a commercial blood cholesterol lowering agent? Easy question. Which of the following is a commercial, commercial blood cholesterol lowering agent? I told you that when a person comes with a, um, sudden block in the heart or they understood that it is because of cholesterol then immediately they will give this as a supplement okay immediately they will give this okay yes tv plus erv very good who are the new students kanishk <laughs> who is that vijay angry on you for what Yes, B, C. Student cyclosporin A, right? Which one are you telling? Stan oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. This one, no? Statin. Statin is a commercially used. Sorry, students. Yes, right? Oh, oh. okay. P wave, D we did. Okay, let's see next question. Okay, the human skull has 20 statins. Yeah, that was the wrong marking. Okay, sorry, that is the wrong marking. The cyclosporin is, A is an immunosuppressant, immunosuppressant and stat statins is a commercially used cholesterol lowering agent. Okay, the human skull has 22 bones with dash cranial bones and dash facial bones. Okay, how many cranial bones, how many facial bones? Students, <laughs> ha have we reached the target? Let me see if my students keep their words. Nancy, did the impossible happen? I don't think we reached the target. Okay, let's see. No, we did not reach the target. Come on, 400 possible. Yes, what's the answer? Yes, very good. 8 and 14, right? The human skull has 8 cranial bones and we have 14 facial bones, right? 8 cranial bones and 14 facial bones. All of you in the chat box. Yes. <laughs> Conjuice people, ma'am. They are only telling. Students are telling. Students, all of you tell me in the chat box, how will you remember the cranial bones? How, would I, how did I tell you? Step off. Step off. That is how you will remember your cranial bones, right? Eight of them, right? Eight of them you will remember like this. Now, next question. Which of the following has ATPase activity? ATPase activity, think about your sliding filament theory. A love story that did not happen. Romeo Juliet love story between actin and myosin, right? Actin and myosin. <coughs> Hi, Kanishk. Welcome to the platform. 
27 Kanjus people are there. Rani, how will it happen? Be positive. <laughs> You people are learning so many things from me, no? Be positive, it seems. Okay. Tell, what is it? Three. What is three? Yes, perfect. Head of myosin, right? Head of myosin have ATPs, which is not letting actin to come and bind. Now, what do we do? ATPs, we will utilize. We will utilize ATP and make it into ADP and PI. Then actin will be very happy because myosins, on the myosin head, there is an actin bind, which has been hidden by the ATPs. Actin will come and bind. And there will be forming a cross bridge. Now, this ADP and PI has to move out, which will cause a power stroke. Because of that, the head will move and immediately another ATP will come and bind. This is how muscle contraction and relaxation happens. Clear? Muscle contraction and relaxation happens. Sliding filament theory. Now, the ATPs activity of myosin head is dependent on. Whom is it dependent on? Who is the reason for any kind of movement? Again, there's a lag. Students, I'll fill some water and come. By the lag will go. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, calcium ions. Very good. Calcium ions is the one who is responsible because we haven't learned magnesium, magnesium, ferric anywhere. Calcium ions. Okay. Next one. If the head of the cockroach, head of the cockroach is removed, it may live for a few days. I told this in the class. Even if you kill the cockroach and you remove the head, Still the cockroach will be alive for some time. Why is that happening? Okay, why is that happening? Okay, so it's simple. The head holds a small portion of the nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of the body. The head holds one third of a nervous system while the rest is situated along the dorsal part of the body. The supraesophageal ganglia of the cockroach is situated in the ventral part of the abdomen. The cockroach does not have a nervous system. What is the answer students? Gopika Biology, my Instagram, okay? Please don't spam. Yes, one, two. Okay, many, many answers there coming. Yes, very good. The head holds a small portion of the nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of the body. Even if I kill the cockroach or I remove the head of the cockroach, the cockroach is still able to survive for one week after the head has been removed. Is only because the nervous system is slightly on the head. The rest is on the ventral side of the body. Shallow. Match the following. Students, so, again, the same question. So answer this, those who made mistake in the previous question, this is your time to correct, okay? Match the following diseases with the causative organism and select the correct option. Select the correct option. <laughs> Where will we bring 17 people now? Yes, all of you tell, typhoid, what is the answer? Pneumonia, filariasis, malaria. Easy question, but many of them made mistake. Yaar, Vijay, I don't know to read Malayalam. Please stop sending Malayalam. I can only talk. Four. Okay, let's see. Very good. Four is the correct answer. Those who made mistake previously, I hope you've corrected it here. Now, uh, uh -huh. name the enzyme that facilitates opening of the DNA helix during the transcription. Opening or unzipping. 
opening or unzipping. What is the name the enzyme that facilitates opening of DNA helix during transcription? DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase, DNA ligase, DNA helicase. Very easy. Very easy. Okay. Which is the one? Okay. Why not three? Which question? This one. I should show, I should answer. Typhoid salmonella. How can it be three? They are telling three, one. What is this? Yeah. First one is not one. No, first one is three. First one only is wrong. Okay. Thank you, Vijay. Now, tell me the answer for this. Helicase. Yes. Oh, oh. DNA helicase. Name the enzyme that facilitates opening of DNA helix. Oh, students, wait, 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 wait. DNA helix is during replication. During replication. Right. Who is the one who is the only, the only enzyme during transcription is RNA polymerase, right? We made mistake. RNA polymerase, right? <laughs> yes, RNA polymerase. Students got the catch. Even we, even I got wrong. See, so what is happening? What is happening? See, name the enzyme that facilitates opening of DNA helix during transcription. They are not talking about replication. So that is why they have given this, right? Yeah, it is for transcription. Transcription, the only enzyme who is going to help in that structural gene opening and forming the mRNA is your, uh, uh, what is that, RNA polymerase. So that is why a little twist. Most of us got it wrong. No problem. So let's correct it this way. Now here, I will zoom it for you all. See, so we have Ophura, Physalia, Pinecta and uh, Planaria, okay. This one I told you, this is CEO, this is POHA, this one I didn't tell, planaria regeneration, right? Now look here, these are the options. Coming under Molesca, Platy, Helminthus, Echinodermata, Coelentrata. Coelentrata you will remember with the help of POHA. Echinodermata is the CEO of all the animal kingdom. Platy, Helminthus you will remember it as tough, okay, tough. And Molesca you will remember it as load PPSC, right, load PPSC. So... Now the answer, which is your option? Can you all see? I don't think you can see, yaar. Should I just put the answer? Okay, let, let's do one thing. Let's do it otherwise, like this. Okay, Ophiura will come under CEO. Echinodermata, Physalia, Coelentrata, Planaria. See, in, in case this you don't know. Like we did not discuss this example, you think. Planaria, you know. Yes or no? So you can use the rest of it, okay? So I'll show you the option. See, so that is Ophiura, Echinodermata, and then we have B, that is Physalia, Poha, Coelentrata. Then you have Planaria, Platy Helminthus. Last one, you put it into Molesca. That's all. Simple. When you don't know something, just do this kind of method. This is done. Okay. Given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion and other is labeled as reason. Okay. Amniocentesis for sex determination is one of the strategies of reproductive and child health care program. Ban of amniocentesis checks increasing menace of the female feticide or homicide. In the light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the option given below. Okay, both A and which are right, which are wrong. <laughs> yes, students, please don't spam. Please don't spam. Okay. Here, serious class is going on. So, please. R are true. R is correct explanation for A. So, amniocentesis for sex determination is one of the strategies of reproductive and child health care program. Definitely wrong. Amniocentesis is totally to find if there is any kind of genetic disorder. Yes or no? Ban on amniocentesis checks increasing menace of female homicide. Ban on amniocentesis was because of the increase in female homicide. So, which is the correct uh, option? Achacho, this one. A is false, but R is true. Correct? Right? Yes. Okay. Look at my students. Madhuvashini and all is counting. Okay. This one. Aha. The coagulum is formed of network of threads called thrombins. Statement 2. Spleen is the graveyard of erythrocyte. Okay. Graveyard of the erythrocyte. Now, in the light of the above statement, choose the most appropriate answer from the option given below. Okay, which is that the coagulum is formed of a network of thread called thrombins. Okay, spleen is a graveyard of erythrocyte. Which is the answer? 
Yes, quickly. A, two, okay. Okay, let's see. What's the answer? Oh, I didn't put the answer for this. No problem. Students, what is the answer for this? I think the answer got mixed up somewhere. No problem. Let it be there. We will find it. The coagulum is formed by a network of thread called thrombins. Agreed? Statement one, wrong. It is not formed by network of thrombins. But statement two is correct. Spleen is definitely a graveyard of erythrocyte. Okay? Spleen is definitely a graveyard of erythrocyte. Here fibrins will come. No, why will thrombins come? Fibrins will come. Fibrins and fibrinogen, right? Inactivated form to activated form. Okay. Body fluids in circulation. Do you want a break to have lunch? Do you want to have a break to have lunch? Because uh, after this, uh, Baswa sir will start. So, I think I have only some more questions. Not some more. I have quite some questions. Body fluids in circulation. One second. Yes. Students, tell me what do you want. If you if I if you if I am giving you a break, I want all the 75 students to come back. Otherwise, no break. I will continue. I do not have problem. I can stay without lunch for another one hour. I'm not going to faint. But I want you people to have lunch. That's all. Tell me what do you want. You'll uh, <coughs> you'll if you have taken already. If you have already taken had oh, what am I telling? If you have already had lunch, I will not give break on my Telegram or on my Instagram. We can talk. Okay? Yeah. Stop telling biotechnology. Break, huh? some are telling continue, some are telling break. My guts, I don't know what to do. Okay, how long you want break? Continue. These people will make me confused. Your wish, ma'am. <laughs> if you people are not back, then I will not give you any more breaks. Okay, okay, let's do one thing. I'll finish till body fluids and circulation, and the rest part I'll keep it for one more day because again, a lot of questions are there. We cannot finish before Baswar sir come. Baswar sir will kill me if I don't give him the studio at five. Right? So, that's why you have to increase your marks in biology. First of all, if your concepts are good, you are good to go. Then PYQs. If you are able to solve this, yes. End the class. Sir. Oh, haha. So, painful things are all they're telling. Okay, chalo. I will give you 10 minutes break. I won't eat lunch. So, I will eat it later after the class. So, you people just eat something and come. 40. After that, we'll do just maybe 20 more minutes class. Continue. No break, ma'am. Oh my God, I'm so confused. Chalo, we'll continue. Oh my God, so many messages. No need break. Continue. Okay, let's do one thing. Okay, deal is this. Let's finish the class by 2.40. I'll stop the class at 2.40. We'll finish body fluids and circulation and the rest of the part, we'll keep it for another day. Okay, yes or no? Ma'am eats burger. I'm not eating burger until you people crack neat. Don't tell, don't tell uh, false accusations, rumors. Don't tell raw rumors about me. Okay, I'm not eating because of you people. Yes. Chalo. Oh, uh, what is this? Okay, students, I put here. Statement one is correct. Statement two is correct. What is it? Ah, statement one is incorrect. Okay. Now, inadequate supply of oxygen to the heart muscles lead to a symptom of acute chest pain. Okay, acute chest pain. The, this disorder of circulatory system is identified as. Okay. Yes, continue. I'm continuing. Because you people told, so many told continue, so I'm continuing. No break. Now, tell me this. Inadequate supply of oxygen lead to a heart muscle. I mean, lead to a lack of oxygen in the heart muscle or lead to acute chest pain. What is it called? Yes. All the kanjus, come on. Yes, angina pectoris. Very good. Now, Arrange the following formed elements in the decreasing order of their abundance in the blood. Okay. Now, platelets, neutrophils, erythrocytes, eosinophils, monocytes. Choose the most appropriate answer from the option given below. Arrange the following elements in decreasing order of their abundance in blood. Who is more in blood? Decreasing order. Okay. Decreasing order. Come on. Wow. My st students are breaking the challenge. Great. They are reaching closer to the challenge. Yes. I like giving you people challenge. I feel that I'm only. <coughs> you people, uh, you know. See, you have to do revision. Now is the time for your revision students, actually. 
okay now is the time for your revisions you have to do revisions properly and you have to practice because see again 40 30 let's keep it 35 days 35 days you're going to reach your you know you're getting into neat and you'll be in the exam hall with a lot of people now 25 lakhs would have registered 26 lakhs would have registered that is not your problem you should not be bothered with that but if you're in a stage to answer all the previous year questions if you're in a stage see i'm not telling all the questions will be easy there will be some confusing questions that is what the exam is no we want the best doctors we do not want people who are walking around to come and write the exam and become doctors right so pyqs <coughs> yes okay fine what's the answer very good one is the answer awesome so what is it c erythrocytes okay uh, that is rbc then we have a platelets then we have b who is bbb neutrophils then we have e then we have d okay chalo person with ab blood group are called universal recipient this is due to okay yes universal recipient So, and see, Baswa sir came to check if I have finished or not. Okay, so let's do body circulation faster. Fast, fast, fast. Yes. Chalo, 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 chalo. Sir does know. Oh, 10 more likes. My students are awesome. I love you all students. You people are so nice. Okay. Yes. What is it? Absence of antibodies, anti-A and anti-B in the plasma. Right? Anti-A and anti-B in the plasma. Okay. So, a person with AB blood group are called universal recipient because this is due to the absence of antibodies. That is both anti-A and anti-B is not there in the plasma because of which they can give the blood to all of them. Okay. Chalo. Which enzyme is responsible for the conversion of inactive fibrinogens to fibrin? Okay. Inactive fibrinogen to fibrin. Okay. Yes. Chalo. Chal. Chal. Yeah. I'm not that famous. Yeah. Sebastian, don't tell all that. Don't tell all that. Okay? Don't tell all that. Don't make competition. Don't make competition. Okay. Look here. Which enzyme is responsible for the conversion of inactive fibrinogen to fibrin? Thrombin. That is why that question was wrong. Because they told the coagulin is the mesh of is a thread of uh, thrombin that's an enzyme fibrin would be correct there okay okay the qrs complex in a standard ecg represents what among this we did p q qrs okay s we did all the waves so all the curves now you have to tell exactly what is the qrs complex okay qrs complex thank you thank you so much so sweet Yes, I'm getting so happy that I'm blushing because my students are telling such sweet things, right? And they're making the challenge. They're taking it like uh, one big challenge. Yes, ma'am, we will do it. May yes, make us proud. Make us proud, right? That's only happiness we will have. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, depolarization of ventricles. Very good, very good. Two is the answer, okay? Yes. Now, match the following columns and select the correct option. Eosinophils, basophils, neutrophils, lymphocytes. Okay. Eosinophils, what is it doing? Basophils, what is it doing? Neutrophils, what is it doing? Lymphocytes, what they are doing. Okay. Chalo. Match the following columns and select the correct option. What poll you want me to add, dear? Like, what poll? Yes, positivity is the solution for everything, right? Positivity is everything. Yes, my team is also, you know, very active. They're like dropping messages, like, share, 
my team also is very excited seeing how fast my students are as answering zoology questions okay oh my god surprise come students we have a surprise guest yeah surprise guest and you know what they're so good at zoology they're good at botany also that we'll see that i know <laughs> so how is everyone doing mom how is the session going mom are you able to answer everything or yeah yeah very full on full on full on right full prepared everyone is full prepared i nice, feel like our nice. classes have worked really well and they're like yes. fully prepared and i'm so happy seeing them because i am reading the question they would have already told the answer before you read the entire match the point like okay yeah. <laughs> nice oh, there's, there's a lag, lag huh? I don't know. Sometimes there's a lag. I, I don't know. Is it because of the setup? Something. Yeah, I think we are touching something. I think we're standing on this wire. Uh, this wire? No, I don't think it's probably this wire. Yeah. Should not cause any. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> We've been taking a break. We were supposed to take a lunch break. Then I told no, no. We'll I'll give you a proper break because bus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Charge, so no? after your class, ma'am, they can get a proper break for like around uh, one hour or two hours. What's the time? No, I <laughs> didn't get my watch today. Yeah, I think yeah, they can get a proper one and a half hour. Ah, so you'll be finishing by? No, I'll finish now. I'll finish body flows and we'll stop. Okay, so you'll because be start. Because we did a all round question, so. Only... So by five o'clock, you will be recharged. So everyone, students, yeah, students, you'll be ready by five p five. Yes. Will you ready by five uh, five p.m. Yes, I was gonna say a.m. I don't know why. <laughs> I was gonna say five a.m. But will you be ready by five p.m.? We'll be starting off with botany. Yes, right. Activated, recharged. Everyone will be recharged by five p.m. Right, because we'll be doing botany entire class eleventh, all the way from living world to the entire of your plant physiology. That is plant growth and regulators. Every single chapter PYQ will be doing from two thousand nineteen to two thousand twenty three. Right. So now they're ready. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so continue. So I will. Yeah, I can continue for another ten minutes because without lunch, I can't continue. Yeah. I didn't know I didn't have lunch, so I'll stop the session. Want lunch? Yeah, I want lunch. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. Bye. 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 Special guest appearance, students. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the answer for this? Come on, all of you. They're all still still telling you hi. Okay. Bye. Okay. No, it will not be that interesting like zoology. Okay, <laughs> per went. That's why I'm telling. Okay, hello. Let's do. What's the answer? Four. Right. Students, don't worry. Question numbers are on. You people, don't worry. We will do all the questions. Some questions are less because of uh, deleted syllabus. Otherwise, all entire question paper I've gone through. Okay. 